Ana kazi yako itapata thawabu Na kwa nguvu mpya nguvu mpya utainuliwa tena Wakati tulio nao si wako ambaleza tena Siko sakilia simepita simekusha Sasa tosonga tena mele kwa kazi ya kebwana Matoki ya kamwe haya tatuka atisha tama Na tutaweza yote kwa jina lake mwenye nguvu Na kwa mkono wake yeye mwenyewe atatu ongoza Wakati tulio nao si wako ambaleza tena Siko sakilia simepita simekusha Sasa tosonga tena Jina lake mwenye nguvu Na kwa mkono wake yeye mwenyewe Atatu ongoza Kwati wangufu kwa neno lake bwana mungu Ase mapo badaya hayo yote nitarejea Na ambi nitai jenga tena nyumba ya kedaudi Kilio anguka Nita jenga tena manguko ya ke Nita isi mamisha Kwa jili ya kebwana toweza kuhawa mchana Siku kutwa Wahesabiwa kuwa kama kondo wasu bilio kuchinjwa Lakini katika mambo haya yate tumeshinda Na zaidi ya kushinda Kwa hee ali ya tupenda jina lake lisifi We milele Bada ya siku hizo Za kupikwa vikali Kama alivyo ahidi nguvu mja Ame tupati ya tena Wakati tulio nao Siwaku ambaleza tena Siko sakilia simepita Simekusha Sasa tosonga tena Mele kwa kazi ya kebwana Matoki ya kamwe haya tatuka Atisha tama Na tutaweza yote Kwa jina lake mwenye nguvu Na kwa mkono wake yeye mwenyewe Atatu ongoza Wakati tulio nao Si waku ambaleza tena Siko sakilia simepita Simekusha Sasa tosonga tena Mele kwa kazi ya kebwana Matoki ya kamwe haya tatuka Atisha tama Na tutaweza yote Kwa jina lake mwenye nguvu Na kwa mkono wake yeye
gani unyauka na ua ufifia Mwenyezi Mungu avumishapo upepo juu yake hakika binadamu ni kama heri walio na uzuni maana wata watafarijiwa kifo cha mwaminifu wake Mwenyezi Mungu si japo dogo mbele yake Natamani nikae mahali pa
sasa mwili wa mpendo wetu ambaye Bwana amemuita kwake tukiamini ya kwamba kwa kuwa Yesu alikufa naye akafufuka tena ndiye itakavyokuwa kwa wale wanao kufa katika Kristo kwani Mungu atawafufua pamoja na Yesu tuombe hiyo ombi Yesu Kristu umetupatia imani ya kweli na tumaini la hakika. Imarisha imani hii na tumaini lililo ndani yetu siku zote setu zote ili tuweze kuishi kama wale wanao amini ushirika wa watakatifu. Msamaa wa dhambi na ufufuo wa maisha ya milele. Amen kitu kina majira yake kila jambo duniani lina wakati wake wakati wa kuzaliwa wakati wa kupanda wakati wa kuvuna kilichopanda wakati wa kuwa wakati wa kuponya wakati wa kubomoa wakati wa kujenga wakati wa kulia na wakati wa kucheka wakati wa kuombeleza na wakati wa kucheza wakati wa kutupa mawe na wakati wa kukusanya mawe pamoja wakati wa kukupatia na wakati wa kuacha kukumbatia wakati wa kutafuta na wakati wa kupoteza wakati wa kuhifadhi na wakati wa kutupa wakati wa kurarua na wakati wa kushona wakati wa kukaa kimya na wakati wa kuongea Mwenyezi Mungu ni mtungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu unipumzisha kwenye malisho mabichi uniongoza kando ya maji matulivu na kuiri, ku, kuirudishia nafsi yangu nguvu mpya Uniongoza katika njia sawa kwa izani yake nijapopita katika konde la giza kuu sitaogopa hatari yoyote maana wewe Mwenyezi Mungu huu pamoja nami gogo lako na fimbo la fimbo yako vya nirinda umeniandalia karamu mbele ya ndui zangu umenipaka mafuta kichwani pangu kikombe changu umekijaza mpaka kufurika kweli wema na fadhili zako sitakuwa pamoja nami siku zote za maisha yangu nami nitakaa nyumbani mwa Bwana Mwenyezi Mungu milele milele utukufu na baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu ulivyokuwa mwanzo ulivyo sasa hata milele tusikie somo And I read, what then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all of us, how will he also not along with him graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those who God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Christ Jesus who died. More than that, who was raised to life? is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord.
Chapter 21, verses 3 to 4. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tab tabernacle of God, is, of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them, and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from your eyes. There shall be no more death, no sorrow no crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. This is the word of the Lord. Nashukuru Mungu mahali tumefika. Saa hii naomba rafiki wa Morris wawili wajiandaa wa nene kuhusu yeye halafu familia ndio kanisa. Rafiki wake hakuja hata utuba kidogo the church leadership present, the family of Omosa, friends and relatives and colleagues who are here. Praise God. Praise God once again. Uh, my name is Edna Kangwana. I am the outgoing county minister for administration Kisi County. And Morris, who is lying here with us, was one of the administrators of the county government who was positioned in my office. We worked closely. The day we never talked, nor communicated, is when Molly was in the hospital. Apart from that, I share a deep relationship with uh, Molly growing up. I schooled in Mosocho, uh, staying in my uncle and my auntie Kennedy and Agatha Nyambegena. I saw Molly grow up. I saw the Molly, the, the Omosa family. So that's how close Molly has been, and faith brought us to work together. I want to pass my condolences to the Umosa family. You've lost an enigma. I know you didn't even know who, who Mollis was. I happen to have worked closely and saw the other part of Mollis. Professionalism, ethical, committed. I mean, he was just a worker. Any task, task I could give him, he used to do it to completion and report accordingly. That's maybe the other part that you didn't know. 
and he was very close to people, very touching to issues that are related to people. The last task that we were tasked with him, the county government, is when we were dealing with um, the lynching of Marani, uh, women who were lynched because of uh, allegation of witchcraft. And I could see Molly's go out of her, his way to look for food for the families, to look for money, to look for clothing, to do the reports and to report. And the other thing we did, which was human in nature, was working with the street children in Kisi County. I also saw him work. To the last minute, I think he still holds the files to those two assignments that we were given. I don't know, but I want to say that God picks the pest from his garden and they has chosen to take uh, Maurice and uh, he's going to take care of you. I'm praying that he gives you the strength that you so need, especially to you, Mama. Every time you could come to church, he used to take pictures of you being in church and share with us. Today we were in church and only to know that this was the very church that you used to come together. I know the pain, you feel it so much. And I know you are the one who is feeling it the most. I promise together with the team who are here, from the county government, you can just wave. They're right there at the back. Kindly stand so that uh, the family can see you and the friends. Those are the officers stationed in the Department of Administration. Day in, day out, they used to work with Morris. I don't know this before I sit down. I want to request one, maybe Rona, come and, uh, and just say something about Morris as a way of saying, saying uh, a farewell uh, to, to Morris. Uh, so family, Paul Lesana and the church, thank you so much for the support. We are going to continue standing with you, praying for you, so that you get the peace and the strength that you need uh, so very much. So thank you so much. Uh, God bless you and say something. Dona Sofia. Uh, Jijini Nangu ni Sofia Maeba. Niliko nafanya kazi kwa mojo na Morris. He was the best colleague we ever had. He was hard working. I remember we were employed the same day. So when I was requested for my papers, we were in the same office at that moment. And we worked for almost one year. And God has, God has <laughs> collected all God has gone with him. But we left with his good deeds. He'll always be with us. Mom, Mungu wakona wewe. And he'll never leave you. Ami mshukua yeye, lakini there is something way better that he's placing for you. So, may God be with you. May he give you the peace that you need, you deserve. And thank you for being with her forever. Musimwache peki yake pamodo mkiomba. God will always be with you. May God bless you. Thank you. Once again, Paul. To feel number of family member at our weary Wangi, Miss Morris. Number of family member. Morris, you put on. I'm going to make it. 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 Na mungu ndia na munga sisi. Tustegemea dunia. Ndia tuko hapa, tuko kwa nisani. Na mungu wako na sisi. Kwa hivyo tukue kanisa. Asante. Mbona isu asifiwe. Bishop seated behind there. The clergy here. The family the colleagues of most boys was an ordinary. Praise the Lord. Morris ni mtoto wangu ni mtoto ni nyamesimono na mafana kazi uzuri kwa hile niyaka amba ya meshi. Morris is a man who was highly exposed, highly fervent, He's done so much. Many times he came to where I preach. But I come for that day. Because one word that Mary said, this is the son that God has left with me. 
And she requested us to pray. And we prayed for Moses at that time. And we encouraged Moses and talked to him. Nobody knew there was such kind of a time. And things were so good. Fit to be cool and kind of. Moses and Ruby Kenya and the Takazi Kumeka Mingi. And then we came with Takazi to the county. Kumboleza kwa jili ya Morris uh, Mimi ni mwalimu wake katika mtaa ambao tunawita mtaa wa mlimani Kanisa letu liko na mitaa tofauti tofauti Na mimi ni mwalimu wake uh, Kwa mama My good friend and my sister The Lord has done what was best for him uh, and my daughters God will not leave you alone he's the best comforter na ye ndiye mfariji mwema tunaweza kuongea mambo mengi lakini bwana ndiye mfariji mwema kwa sababu aliona ni vyema mori sepumzike kwa wakati huu kwa kika na wale wenzake ambao alikuwa anafanya nao kazi pia tunawapa pole mkajitie moyo na mkimbilie Yesu kiona vile mambo yanatendeka spizi afadhali ujifiche kwake Yesu alafu unapoitwa unaenda kwake nasema asanteni kwa kuja kuwa pamoja nasi kwa sababu Morris ni mtoto wetu na Morris amekuwa katika ili kanisa. Mungu awabariki na Mungu awape faraja zake. Asante. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa niaba yangu na kanisa la St. Philip tunatuma naomba ndugu zetu kwa familia. Mungu akone sababu. Kwa hivyo tunataka kusikia neno la Bwana tutasimama tuimbe wimbo 92 katika vitabu vyetu vya tenzi tenzi za rohoni 92 nataka ni ndue yesu
sasa anatuliza je kifo kinaweza kututenganisha naye kifo hatuwezi kutengenezesha na mwokozi wetu Yesu ingawa kifo ni uchungu ingawa kifo leta madhara ingawa kifo uumiza lakini Mungu bado anatuahidi kwamba upendo wake kwetu bado unadumu so let us be more courageous let us seek for the same god who has given us time the time for more has ended but your time and mine is still there so during this time that i'm still left with what should i do to my god that is the main question we need to ask if he has taken more to rest and he has left you and he has left me what should i do to him he still promises in this book that his love and our love should still remain the same the way you love your lord yesterday today you should improve it to be more better it means you should come closer to god than before so the book of romans is reminding us that there is nothing nothing at all that will separate us from the love of god so it is true we will one day die in the last book that we read the book of revelation we are promised that we will all die but we will be created afresh in the new creation new things will come a new heaven will come a new earth will come new human beings will come which means this body that sinned before must die and disappear so that that new one should come are we together so for us our body to become a fresh then this one must die we must accept that fact because that's the promise of god in revelation 21 that new things god is creating new things is creating a new heaven for you and for me is creating a new earth for you and for me is creating new things is creating new jobs is creating new songs is a creator he continues doing the creation like never before so when we come before him today we say lord we are waiting for that new thing to come tunasubiri wakati wa kujenga vitu mpya ije tuko tayari bwana yesu asifiwe because it's true there's a philosophy that says if you die there's nothing you have lost have you lost anything you, have you gained anything that the main question have you gained anything and if you have gained it where are you taking it so the philosophy still the first as back that even if you die you have lost nothing because you have gone back to the person who did what who holds you are we together so ukikufa umerudi kwa ule ambaye anakuhitaji ambaye anakujenga so you have not lost anything you should appreciate lord where you send me you have taken me from there and now i'm back to you so in preparation for going back to god we need to soften our hearts we need to pay a ground that when jesus comes he finds you and me when we are ready we don't need to cry we need to prepare us we need to cry that we are still in sin we need to cry that we are still falling we need to cry that we are not getting the road we need to cry that nobody is guiding us are you seeing romans uh, 7:10 says how can i know if i'm not there okay so it means that there must be people who should come and tell you and when they tell you you should listen and when you listen you should take action so there is nothing that will separate you and me from the love of god that is painful the bible says that we will cry we need to cry because somebody whom we love we have lost but after crying we need to say god thank you for the time you gave us this person to be with us now prepare us also prepare us as we come to you are you getting prepare us lord and the bible in uh, psalms 91 verse 12 says lord teach us to count our days who knows how many days he has on earth nani amejua mwaka ile amepatiwa na mungu duniani atujui so kama alimpatia mori sizo ni mwaka ngapi 40 yes for uh, uh, 46 kama ni hiyo mungu alimpatia na mmtimizia mungu kazi yake sasa sisi tuna 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 haja ya kulaumu kazi ya Mungu atume tunamsaini wa Mungu asante kuna wale wanachukuliwa na mwezi kuna wale wanachukuliwa na siku si ndio so hayo ni kazi ya muumba sisi ni wanenaji na waonaji lakini sisi tuliopatiwa nafasi ndefu Mungu anasema sisi tuliopatiwa nafasi ndefu tuko na kesi ndefu vile nafasi yetu ndefu hii you have to account wakati wa hukumu lazima utajibu maswali yao maswali yote. So, kabla tujahukumiwa, Mungu anatupatia nafasi ya kuja kwake na kusema Bwana, sisi ni wakosaji. 
tuem na utupoke. Save us and receive us, Lord, so that we work for you, so that we serve you, so that we await for your coming. The Adventist, uh, Adventist Church is named after those people who are waiting for the Lord. So they are Adventists. Are we together? Adventists and well one subiri nan kurudi yesu. So mimi pia ni mwadventista kwa sababu na, na, na subiri kurudi kwa yesu. Na natuagiza katika Biblia akirudi sisi zote tutamuona. Ukiwa upande gani wa dunia, ukiwa sehemu gani ya dunia, utamuona yesu akija. Na atakuja kwa nguvu kutuchukua mimi na wewe. So kuna wale wana nafasi watamuona wakiwa hai. Na kuna wale waliolala Biblia inasema wataamshwa na sauti kuu ya tarumbeta itawatoa makaburini na watamka tena na watampokea mwokozi so jioni ya leo Mungu anatuahimiza kwamba tujiandae katika hii safari just prepare yourself what i love about people who say they are saved wale waokoki kama waangalikani ambao wanasema bwana asifiwe wanasema ukienda kumuona mwili ni mnyonge lakini roho inampenda nani inampenda yesu which means the body is useless but is in a soul as value are we together Roho yake ndani bado ina mtumaini Mungu. So hiyo ndio tumaini tunataka tuwe nao sisi zote. Kwamba hata mwili ikiwa nyonge, roho yako bado ina mtumaini bwana wake. Bwana aliyekuumba, bwana aliyekupa nafasi, bwana aliyekuleta hadi wakati huu. So we need to have hope in that Lord that as we are struggling, as we are seeing challenges, as we are seeing difficulties, we still need to have hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. He has promised that he will come. And he has said again I'm going to prepare for you houses. Maybe you want to go now, but your house is not ready. Where will you sit? Ukienda leo na nyumba yako ijakuwa tayari utaenda wapi? Hakuna squatter binguni. Bwana asifiwe. Kama una nyumba uendi binguni? Hakuna squatters. Hapa ndo tuko na squatters kwa sababu nafasi ni kubwa lakini majengo ni chache. Kule binguni Yesu anasema nimeenda kuandalia makao. Na akishamaliza kutuandalia makao atakuja kutuchukua. Sasa kama amekuja kumchukua Morris, sisi tutasema ni hapana na nyumba yake iko tayari. Hatuna la kusema hapana. So tunamshukuru Mungu kwa maisha aliyompa Morris. Katika maisha yake kanisani tumekuwa tukiongea naye, amekuwa keleta mama saa zingine, anarudi. Aliniendeza kwamba mimi pasta niko na biashara. Wakati wa weekend ndio nafanya nini? Biashara. Nikamweleza Morris, biashara ni nzuri. Mungu pia anapenda ule mtu anafanya kazi. Kwa sababu watesoneka wanasema usipofanya kazi usifanye nini? Usile. So he was right. He had some work to do over the weekend. But nilikuwa na muhimiza Morris kuja kwa service ya kwanza. Service ya kwanza inaanza saa moja na nusu, saa tatu, mwende biashara. Is that not fine? So you still have time to uh, to interact with your God and you still go for business. Are you together? Waislamu ufunga uh, mabiashara zao saa saba na wanakimbia mosque wanakaa huko 30 minutes wakimaliza 30 minutes wanarudi kwa biashara bado ni kumuomba Mungu so kila mmoja wetu hata sisi tuyo hapa tujikumbushe kwamba Mungu anatuhitaji anatuhitaji tumurudishie shukrani ukiwa wa sabato ukiwa wa jumapili ukiwa wa friday Mungu anatuhitaji uchukue nafasi ya kumurudishia shukrani so tunaomba kwamba Mungu aendelee kuongea kwa roho zetu ili tuendelee kumtumikia Tusione kwamba hatuna nafasi ya kuingia. Sisi zote tuko na nafasi. If God created you, he has space for you. Are we together? Yes. Even if a human being will say no, I may say no but I don't own heaven. Are we together? Mimi naweza kukuangalia macho ya binadamu nikasema wewe uweze enda binguni. Lakini Mungu aliyekuumba hako na nafasi yako. So huyo Mungu aliyekuumba ndio murudishie shukrani. Wachana na mwanadamu. Huyo Mungu aliyekuumba ndio mtafute. Look for him. Don't look for me. Look for God. Because God is telling Nehemiah, before I created you, I knew you. Are you together? Before I created you, I knew you. I knew you. So God knows all of us before creation. And he has decided to create you. And so if he has decided to create you, he has a purpose with you. Hako na kazi na wewe. So hiyo kazi buwana hako na wewe na wewe, ebu jaribu kuitimiza. Amo itafute. Lord, what do you want me to do for you? What role do you want me to play in this society? What job are you giving me to serve? All jobs are God's jobs. Are we together? Kazi zote ni kazi za Mungu. Kila mtu anaweka mali mbalimbali. Kila mtu anaweka katika kazi mbalimbali. Sisi zote 
tunakuja kuungana kumshukuru Mungu kwa hizo kazi mbalimbali tunazozifanya. Kila mtu aweze kuwa daktari, kila mtu aweze kuwa engineer, kila mtu aweze kuwa mkulima, kila mtu aweze kuwa mshona nguo, kila mtu bwana amempa kazi mbalimbali. So God has a special talent and gift in you. Look for it and then do it and then you appreciate God. So my brothers and sisters as we end, remember God is creating a new world. God is creating new things in you. God is creating a new space for you. God is creating better things for you. If yesterday was bad, today can be better. If today is bad, tomorrow can be better. Because he's a God of creativity, he keeps on creating. He keeps on creating and allowing for more space for people to come to him. So when you live here, my brothers and sisters, remember that God is looking and waiting for you. And he's the shepherd. Jesus Christ is the shepherd, and the shepherd is the one who looks for sheep. I'm a sheep in the Natafta Mchungaji. Mchungaji in the Natafta Nin, Natafta Kondo, Nanachunga Kondo. Namchungaji Muema, yes, Natuongo. Baba Tunakushukuru, Kosababa Matukumbusha Katika Ibada Yi. Kobo Ewe, Ulia Tumba, Nasisi Tua Toto Wako na Kondo Zaku. Umichukua Moris Katietu. Na umetuliza kama pendo lako litatengenesha kwa sababu ya kifu. Tumepata ni hapana. Bado tunakupenda bwana. Na hata sisi ambao umetupatia na kasa kuendelea kuhudumu na kuishi. Kututengeneze kazi na bingo mpya bwana. Ili tukija tuwe watoto wako. Tutakapo wagana katika ishe re bwana. Uwenda na watumishi wako. Hadi kesho wakati tuamutilikiza bigi yetu. Tunasema ni asante kwa vyote. Tunaomba haya katika jina kristo bwana wetu. Amen. Nataka ni njue Yesu na nisi
Kristo ambao kwa kupekea nguvu zote satoka na ulie chanzo ya faraja yote tunakuomba wakati huu ukaweze kuwafariji familia hii na faraja inayotoka kwako ili wakaweze kupata nguvu ya kustahimili haya na wapate nguvu ya kuwafariji wengine watakaopatwa na jambo kama hili Tunakushukuru kwa mahana umekuwa pamoja nasi hata katika ibada hii na tangu jambo hili litukie miongoni mwetu tumekuona tumetembea pamoja nasi na sana sana familia hii Bwana wa majeshi tunahomba uwape na hema inayotoka kwako that Lord you may shower them with your grace that during this time when they are asking many questions in their hearts Lord may your grace be sufficient give them grace to accept adjust and advance tunahomba pia kwa mipango ambayo itafanyika siku ya leo hadi kesho na siku zijazo kwamba mkono wako uwe juu yetu tunamkabidhi mama Jen mikononi mwako na watoto wake hawa ambao wamepaki kuwapa nguvu inayotoka kwako nasi kama marafiki na kama wakristo mtufanye kuwa wa msahada na baraka kwao nyakati kama hii tunapowatembelea tuwatembelea na ujumbe wa amani na baraka tuombea mpango wote ikaweze kufanyika kadri na mapenzi yako na Bwana ni asante kwa muda ambao limeruhusu Morris kuwa pamoja nasi. Asante kwa yale mema aliyofanya. Tunakushukuru kwa maisha yake. Kwa mwenyewe ndiye mhito mara nyingi atuelewi mbona haya yote yamefanyika katika wakati kama huu 
lakini tunatumaini kwamba siku moja tutapata majibu kwa mambo yote na masuala yote ambayo atuelewe na kwa sababu hiyo tunaweka imani yetu kwako kwamba tutakapopita kwenye ufuli wa mauti kongo lako na vingo vyako vya tulinda maana wewe ndiwe mchungaji wetu sasa tunapotoka hapa tukisafiri kwenda pale nyumbani tuwaomba uwepo wako uandamane pamoja nasi na kila mmoja wetu utufariki na ujishike mkono na sasa tunaombea familia kwamba amani ya Mungu ipitayo fahamu sote tuwalinde mimi na nia zenu katika hali ya kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu na kumtenda mwana wake Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu na baraka ya Mungu mwenye enzi Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu iwe kwenu na ikae nanyi sasa hata milele Amen tuseme amen Asante sana na Bwana awabariki
every knee must bow at the mention of your name every tongue shall confess that you are the covenant keeping God there is no one like you I want to sing it again your name is Jehovah your name is Elohim at the mention of your name principalities witches demons shall bow at the mention of your name every tongue shall confess that you are the covenant keeping God there is no one like you somebody else is a covenant keeping God there is no one like you Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega there is no one like you there is no Covenant keeping God, covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. He's the Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. Sometimes in times of trouble, this is what you got to do. God of Abraham You are the God of Isaac You are the God of Jacob God of Elijah Now hear this You answer by fire You are the God of Daniel Oh Kappa take a Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Sometimes you just need to go on your knees and say, God of Abraham, you are the God of Isaac, you are the God of Jacob. Oh my God, my God, God of Elijah. You answer it by fire. You are the God of Daniel. Covenant keeping God. Oh, there is no one like you. Everybody say covenant keeping God. There is no one. Like you, Alpha and Omega, Alpha and Omega. Can the whole church lift up your voice? There is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, Covenant keeping God. Nobody, 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 nobody like you, nobody like you. Oh, yeah. There is no one like you. The Nigerians sing it like this. Chinegeke igwe, akwane tikagi, malite no gugu, otironye tikagi. And from from my country, I sing it like this. Wudini Yehoa, na Wudini and Wutenunu. 
Unaweza yote baba. Tusinike na damu ya mwanao Yesu Kristu. Tukiombea mama njeni na watoto baba. Ili kuwapa nguvu na kuwapa ufariki wa ajabu. Jehovah unaweza yote. Chukua ushukani mfalme. Na katika jina la Mungu baba mwana na Roho Mtakatifu tumeomba na kuapo. Amen.
Kaburi ya viumi Nitashinda kwa kukana mi Nila lapo ni kuone wewe Niza ni moche ni murikiwe Nuru za mingu ni asiko mitena
anapendo nilivyo mipapa ali mbinguni mbuni tamjua nitamjua 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 uso kwa uso isumari na waliokufa katika bwana Yesu nitawaona tena upo juu lakini nifikapo kwake uko mbinguni nataka kumwona mokozi kwanza nitamjua 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 nikimwona uso kwa uso Mlangoni kwa mti bwana atanipisha pasipo machozi wala uzuni nitauli mawimbo wa milele lakini nataka kumwona mwokozi kwanza nitamjua nitamjua nitamjua, nitamjua. nikimwona uso kwa uso Nitamjua nitamjua kwa alama za misumari nitamjua 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 nikimwona uso kwa uso nitamjua nitamjua kwa alama za misumari
yake ni ishipo dunia ni litufani daima Oh, no, no.
salama siku ya leo ni salama baba o mwenyezi Mungu ishe milele tunakuinua tunakutukuza kwa sababu mbali huu ni salama baba yetu wa mbinguni tunakutukuza tukisema unastahili kuabudiwa unastahili sifa unastahili kupewa utukofu kwani yote na vyote ni vyako baba Mungu wetu siku ya leo o Mwenyezi Mungu tainua mbele yako baba na kila jambo kila kitu kila shughuli tunaikabidhi mikononi mwako na ikawe salama Jehova na ikawe salama kuanzia mwanzo hadi mwisho Jehova tunaomba salama yako Mwenyezi Mungu o baba wa mbinguni wote wanaosafiri kuja mahala hapa tunawakabidhi mikononi mwako ukawape safari salama ili bwana tukapate kuwa pamoja tunapoanza tukawe pamoja na zaidi Jehova jina lako likainuliwe takapomaliza salama baba pokea sifa na utukufu kwani wote ni wako Mungu wetu tunakaribisha roho wako mtakatifu akatawale mali hapa jeshi lako la mbinguni baba likatawale mali hapa falme wa ajabu kwa utukufu wako tunasema asante nani katika jina la Mungu baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu tumeomba na kuamini amen, amen. Salama rohoni Ni salama rohoni mwangu O salama sa twende O rohoni Ni salama rohoni mwangu Zote wala si Niyo napo hamari kama shwali Amani ya napo shida Kwa mambo yote umenijurisha Ni salama roho ni mwa Salama, salama, rohoni, ni salama, rohoni, mwa, asalama, salama, rohoni, ni salama, rohoni, mwa. Ingawa shetani atani tesha Nitaji pamo hoyo kwani Kristo ameo na unyonge wangu Ame kufa kwa roho ya Asalama salama Rohoni ni salama rohoni Asalama salama moyoni Ni salama rohoni mwangu Mambi zangu zote wala sinusu Zimewe kwa msarabani Wala sichuku ila anayake Rohoni ni salama rohoni mwangu Ebwana himiza siku ya kuja Panda itaka apolia Utaka poshuka sitaogopa 
Salama rohoni mwangu salama Rohoni ni salama rohoni mwangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Tungependa kwanza ibada yetu na tunaenda kuomba kwenye kitundu alafu tutakaa chini tukiendelea na ibada kwanza ibada wimbo tenzi bwana usemu yangu ziko katika program wimbo wa kwanza bwana usemu yangu rafiki yangu wewe katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe Pamoja, pamoja, na wewe Yesu Pamoja, na wewe Katika safari yangu Tatembea na wewe Mali hapa siku taka Ili ni eshimiwe Na ya ni kutema shaka Sawa sawa na wewe pamoja Pamoja na wewe pamoja Pamoja na wewe Shaka sawa sawa na wewe Niongoze safari ni Mbele uni chukue Mlango ni mwabingu ni Ni ingi Pamoja, pamoja, na wewe Pamoja, pamoja, na wewe Mulango ni mwambingu ni ingi Na wewe Na tuombe, mungu baba, muana na romu takatifu Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, tuwakushukuru kwa siku ya leo ambapo tumekusanyika sisi wote kama marafiki, familia na kanisa kwa ajili ya kumulaza ndugu wetu Morris Ardhini. Tunapoanza ibada hii ya mashishi, tuwahomba utusike mkono, utuangoze. Tuana wa majeshi, anza pamoja nasi, nato kapo tamatisa, sifa na utukufu, sitakurudia. Tumehomba kwa Kristo buwana wetu. Amen. Now to the answer to the arena. Tenzi 58. Mamba we emara kwa koni toji vicha majiha yona damu Watu wate wasimame wadhari Insi Unisafi kwa dami Unifanya mshindi Kwa kazi zote pia Sitimi zisharia Nijapo fanya mbidi Nikilia na kudhi Haya ishi makosa Niwe wa kuoko 
Tumekusanyika hapa kuulaza mwili wa mpendo wetu Morris ambaye Bwana amemuita kwake tukiamini ya kwamba kwa kuwa Yesu alikufa na akafufuka tena ndivyo itakavyokuwa kwa wale waliokufa katika Kristo kwani Mungu atawafufua pamoja na Yesu Bwana akae nanyi Tusikie masomo kutoka Biblia
na tukae tukae kila kitu kila majira yake kila jambo duniani lina wakati wake wakati wa kusaliwa na wakati wa kufa wakati wa kupanda kilichopandwa wakati wa kuua wakati wa kubomoa wakati wa kulia wakati wa kuomboresa wakati wa kutuba mawe na wakati wa mawe wakati wa kukubatia na wakati wa kuacha kukumbatia wakati wa kutafuta na wakati wa kupoteza wakati wa kuhifadhi na wakati wa kutupa wakati wa kulala na wakati wa kushona wakati wa kukaa kimya na wakati wa kuongea Bwana Yesu asifiwe wakati huu tunataka kuomba mzee wa kijiji atukaribishe hapa tunapoendelea katika hizi sherehe za kumsindikiza ndugu Morris MC Chairman wa kijiji Chairman Chairman wa kijiji Eh asante sana kwa nafasi kwa kanisa bishop and the clergy choir familia na wambelezaji ambao mmefika tumsifu Yesu Kristo tumsifu tena eh onda ireli bageli iga gotore kenyorukia nyabondo tima etigo semo tureti ondo ikirega we can you reke ndengie kene kenyo rokia yo minto chono tago ondo ikira kure kenyo rokia nyabondo ono ko bantu banya bondo bataraika na yenkuruge soni irali bageli ga to igotrum okay kwa ni hapa ya mse wa kichichi kutoka kesoni inaonekana hapa anyabona wachafika wacha nichukue nafasi kukarabisha nyinyi kwa hii mazisi ya mtoto wetu karibu kwaya karibu bishop pastors wako hapa karibu na waeni wote karibu chisikie mko nyumbani asante Eh, asante sana eh, ndugu France kwa kukaribisha wageni na wote ambao wamefika. Nafikiri leo wenzangu hatutakuwa na mazungumzo mengi. Tumekuja hapa kwa sababu moja, kufariji familia. Kanisa wamefika, kwaya ipo. Na tumeulizwa na familia kama ingewezekana walikuwa nataka mambo ya kanisa lakini kwa ajili tumepewa muda kidogo tungeuliza wale ama akina mama wale ambao watafika hapa kufariji familia tutakuwa na mambo mengi nafikiri ni jambo moja mbili kufariji alafu muda mwingi tutawapatia kanisa na kwaya waendelee na, na mpangilio wa siku ya leo e, ndenginga mwongi na romena simba tima etiko soikira anya tara ikagaiga eh yo minto victoria makoli karanchu ango nae tuagani mwongi na romena lakini akoba tara ika karanchu ai rendo to igore nae so kolero mwano asante uh, sana kwa nafasi mr chairman pastors when you walk around bishop choir na all members of the church nami kwa machina ni victoria nyakirario makori eh ni kutoka kwa family mama yetu mkupwa eh, mwenye tuko naye achafika lakini wacha tu ni kwe on behalf mama pole sana eh, kwa haya 
yenye alitokea tunaomba Mungu tu akuchashe neema alete mchivi msito akuwekee arabu uendelee kulinda hao wengine wachukuu wako eh, kwa sababu hii dunia hakuna mwenye ataishi sote tuko njiani tunaenda kitu tu ni kuombea huyu mtoto yetu Morris aende safari njema asante Oga kabogongo. Ona mangana ya ga kabere galio kalio ka nchira nere mwa nko yunga kale mwa gatuale mangana mwa ale ko rut mwa ale ko kolera iko mpaka mwa kubia mangana na ande ta ta kuoroka. Na kiwane si ya beire. Batebi batebi ya yabona mna to mangana ya abuchire. Kolereke buchire yabona. Mimi ntongea kwa luka ya kijisi Kiswahili imepotea hii miaka Mungu anapenda mimi Mimi salewa 1927 Sasa hii miaka imeenda Eh abantu ba mimi ntama kweli hiyo ile tuasinjwe muna tuoji kwa nyatanga Abangi na mbaya walipa kabikire bitinge ni kinuga tuaga ndapa karoje tuagita mache kigwa kwa kiriba begete twaru twa beko twa tigararo robina oyo mino pole ese ai kirere bo kiboni lasima koishi ni bati koishi ni bati ya mungu lakini kibo ni lasima ngo twara mange igorona yande twalenge erona yande Bone ese na bega ikire se ko gente ka birenga mune yo ese ataba anire puya mona chaman chaman asante asante ni japo fanya bidi ni kili anakudi hayai shima kosa ni wewe kuokoa ni kungo japo chini na kwenda kaburi ni ni pa ambaye mtapata nafasi ya kuongea fikiri naona marafiki wa Morris wametoka tapaka mbali mbali kwa hivyo unapopata nafasi jaribu changanya ruga ili kila mmoja apate yale ambayo tunazungumzia kwa hivyo mse Toruri karibu sana Asante sana kwa nafasi na mimi kwa ni hapa ya familia yangu nataka kusema pole sana kwa mama Jane na familia yote ya mzee Mremu Musa huyu mtoto nilimjua kabisa amechunga mama kwa muda mrefu na kila wakati tulipokuwa tunakutana namuuliza mama yukoje salama ninajua sasa rohoni mwa mama anafikiriaje lakini Mungu yupo mkiwa hapa siku ya leo wa marafiki zetu watakutoka Tanzania ni kwamba Mungu mwenyewe ni amesema katika kitabu cha Isaya 40 kifungu cha kwanza kwamba nendeni mkawafariji watu wangu kwa hivyo mko hapa kwa makosa hapana Mungu mwenyewe amesema kila wakati ambapo wanadamu wanapata shida muwakaribie ili muweze kuwafariji kwa hivyo mimi nina imani kubwa ya kwamba mama Jen na familia yote ya mzee Musa e, Mungu atakuwa na ninyi na mipangilio yote hata katika kitabu cha Jeremia 29 kifungu cha moja Mungu mwenyewe amesema nina mipango miema kwa watu wangu kwa hivyo nina imani kwamba Mungu ana mipango kwa familia hiyo yote 
watoto wao, wajukuu, familia yote. Hivi kwamba ndiye atakayeongoza maisha yao wakati huu wote. Kwa hivyo mimi natoa shukrani kwa Mungu kwa nchi ya hiyo ya kwamba ingawaje maafa yako lakini pia Mungu yuko. Ndiye anayejua ni nini kitatendeka kesho na kesho kutwa. Kwa hivyo tuombe familia hii Mungu aweze kuilinda Muno yuyu mama kwa sababu ameona shida iki ni kifo cha uzuni kubwa ya kwamba ameona mengi kutoka nyuma huku lakini Mungu akiwepo mambo yote huwa ni, ni rahisi huwa ni mema kwa nyakati ambapo tunaishi kwa wakati huu tunajua ya kwamba kila mtu siku yake kama ilivyo siku ya leo ya mtoto huyu Jesus mmesikia ndege imeanguka huko Tanzania huko Lake Victoria. Wale wote waliofariki. Wewe fikiri ikiwa ni familia nzima ilikuwa inaenda mahali. Familia yote naishie yote hapo. Uzuni kubwa. Lakini mimi naamini ya kwamba kwa vyovyote vile Mungu akiwa ndiye anayeongoza mambo yote yatakwenda sambamba. Hivyo basi nataka kumaliza kwa kusema ya kwamba marafiki zetu ambao wametoa usaidizi kwa kila njia tangu mtoto huyu afe na wale wametoka nje ya nchi hii Mungu awe na ninyi hata mtakaporudi mufike salama salmini na mama akibaki huko na wale wote Mungu akae huku alinde hawa nyakati zote asanteni Eh asante sana mzee Tururi kwa hayo maneno ya pusara sana kwa familia. Asante asante sana. Eh uh, kwa wakati ningependa kumuita brother Simon. Simon alikuwa na wimbo tafadhali hebu chongea hapa mbele tupatie wimbo moja wa kufariji familia please. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. If you have some question in the corners of your mind and traces of discouragement and peace you cannot find reflections of the old past they seem to face you every day there's one thing i know for sure jesus is the way jesus is the answer for the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer For the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today Above him there's no other Jesus is the way I know you got mountains that you think you cannot climb I know your skies are been dark you think the sun won't shine 
In case you don't know, I'm here to tell you the word of God is true. And everything is promised, He will do for you. I know you got mountains that you think you cannot climb. I know your skies have been dark, you think the sun will shine. In case you don't know, I'm here to tell you the word of God is true. And everything is promised, He will do for you. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above Him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above Him there's no other. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other, Jesus is the way, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other, Jesus is the way. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mahali popote tu panyia Yesu mkono hivi. Haleluya. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Abi Baraka. Nataka kuwabariki na wimbo wa kisi ambao inasema Ovo gimo ovo dalia ora kwere ya somo yale. Hiyo ni wimbo wangu volume 1. Msaidie. Ovo gimo ovo dalia ora kwere. Ovo gimo ovo weme chando. Ongeza sauti kwa nini? Be 
budini wazi tukipita lango hili tuta Friends to malls, maybe the school together, maybe from town, but the county ni badai. Abasani ba Morris, wale wako, mjonge mbele, mwambaleze rafiki enu. Kama kunayo, marafiki, marafiki wa malls kutoka mosocho, town, wale wale soma na ee. Asante sana kanisa, bishop, family and friends, relatives and workmates of Morris. Uh, it's one word. We are not happy. We are saddened by the loss of uh, Morris, which was quite uncertain. Otherwise, uh, mommy, Jen, sisters and everyone else, uh, we wish to... Oh, no, yeah. Goteba Paul Sana. Uh, Maurice, we've grown up with him, we went to school with him, uh, Kanulotunga and the other places. There yeah, I know in the alumni of Kanulotunga they were surprised about this quick shock uh, the shock of uh, the loss of Maurice. Uh, we say Paul for the family. However, with the church with us, uh, we we thank you for being so grateful about uh, attending to our Matanga. Uh, otherwise, uh, Pauline Sana, I wish you well. Biamano, or you represent uh, friends? This is cool. Uyu akitoka ningeomba familia ya mama Jen Kuchembele Salama rohoni Salama ni salama rohoni wangu Ok, I'm Jess Kandolo from Kidesis 
Okay, I would say we are in that school courtesy of Morris because after it was closed, it was Morris who opened it again. So we are grateful for that. And on behalf of the school, the staff, the parents, we want to say sorry to the family. We are with you this time. We pray that God's peace be with you at this time. I want to leave you with one verse from the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 3, which says that he heals those that are brokenhearted and binds their wounds. Thank you. Asante sana ndoro. Eh, nilikuwa naita familia ya kuna kitoka Jen kutoka Tanzania. The Kidesis. Inga wa shetani ya tani tesa. Nita jipa moyo kwani. Kristo. Kristo wa meona unyonge wangu. Ame kufa kwa roho ya Baba salama 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 roho ni Salama Ni salama roho ni mwangu Iba salama 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 roho ni Salama Ni salama roho ni wangu Asante Poleni sana kwa msiba Mimi ni ndugu kutoka Tanzania Tumepokea jambo hili kwa masikitiko makubwa Poleni sana wote mlio kuwepo katika siku ya leo Jina langu mimi naitwa Peter Kidesi. Naitwa Peter Kidesi. Thank you, thank you. Eh Chikolera. Chikolera tima etinyore mwaikire. Muga kanunda nya waikire. Ne timi ya ona boto kolete likondo ko sole na bande beje busiu. Dhambi zangu zote wala sinusu Zimewe kwa mtalabari Wala, wala sichuku ilana Chikolera, chikolera mwesi Ni salama roho ni Baba salama, salama, salama roho ni, ni salama, ni salama roho ni wangu. Bia mono, so watu wali bagiri higa. Inche gangkuru kwa Isaac Nunda Kuru mwinchari Inche mbwate omwano mwanebo mbusa Kuru kelea Mwa kwa ene eruyo Nye muta kuru kwa Nuyo Kuru ensema ya makori Abantu ba minto tiga to kuana ni nyonya tore sama be nje sama diye tango roko Helen oyo makori Helen makone oyo makori the late Johnson makori no mungi na Yunus makori ni intuto na bu bara baibori ba Lillian my brother Kefa oyo karengumbo tare kunyara wikaga nero nyuma mete Lillian. I go on the Gaiga on behalf of my parents. Now, Tabri Paul, which is a mama Jane, the entire family, Yon Spio Musa. Now, on the Gaiga, now, one of our minto, Rakinin Kurang Rigutore, as in laws, brother in laws and sister in laws, Naditora Kwan and Ende Totebe Paul. Paul is son. Oh, no, in Che, no, 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 Recently, Naritua Gacho Mugaka Umosa. And there before, Kanyotoka Chao Murabai. 
yaara kanyanga obo obo kaliko na kuchaiga lakini tokumanya oyono mwe satani akoreta ya igonsi kole nde ngintonda tabiye kore ba ne gaiga mongina jeni na no mongina mate na bana baye take courage ense nora ngindo tule ntokumanya buna ya mangana ya gocha ngindo gyoka tutin na seriete nya sae Nairobi ya ko Nairobi ya boko tokonya. Ono egentu yo ko toleta no bolemu. Lema tena serite ya sai na tokonya seme chande ko na gocha kicho bu mbororo. Biye mbono. Lema. Thank you. Chilo in loss. Just come immediately. Chino cha molis. Come immediately. Ooh, Cindy, Pete, Moko, God is good and all the time. In Chenko Rukudamaris, Makori. Paul Asana to the family. Maurice always called me my sister. He was a friend. We stayed around Mosocho together for some time. Pauline Asana. Wakile bia. Elie tango Rukutomas nyeru. Paul Asana. Wakile wenzi. Asa Maria Tankoro ku George Makori in Chemokoyo Lilian eh na ende Morris no mosanione e corona soete card no e coro bullying ya rengo na ndendete ataraba no nyemokoyone pole sana say family Naba kwani rimbi ya meremwenzi Asa Maria Tankoro ku Eda George in Chene Kamati ya Lilian ko batai pore mwensi na intu no torochi Yes, as a viewer, I put a safe family. I would eat yanny. A guinea cake, a rosanna, a kilo to Tanya Rokuan. Somebody think of concept, and you go what did you know? Thank you. I will tell you what I want to be represent your Macori and the other sisters and a brother, Rende Orion, your meta Lilian Bakara America, on behalf of my sister Lucy. Brenda, Nora, na Nelly, Kuru America, na wabate bete pole sana, na wabare ya muna inwe. Ase mama, Lillian, Claire, Gloria, tuatebire pole kaki. Nto wali nyasaye nga, what is going on? Nyasaye taliko wali kumaswali, tika tuwege neto mayenga ki, nyasaye na hale na intu chinsa chionzi. Tika haba agate, kaki lituke limo, tuwaro kuwege na. Nto raba minto, lituko linde. Mori isi tuwa morocha umu elio, ekerajita matanga amama, ya rengo umu tienyo saba, uyo era lero iga. Kitika nyasamo beke ya saga ya, mbi ya mano. Thank you. Hello. 
habari ya leo Mama Jane Claire Lillian the whole entire Mosa family na hapa pole sana I had a chance to know Maurice for so many years ever since he was about three years old until now it's very sad to lose Maurice always very happy atenga alikuwa na masira zake at the end of the day Morris came and smiled and everything was okay I'll miss my brother in law to so soon to go night to my juice here by in January when I was here and uh, on behalf of my family my daughters could not make it Stephanie Stacy was on her way but she had complications so she'll be arriving in a few days Asanteni for coming Poleni tena iki nyorona vake ile pole sana aso ko sidio yo mwe no naende asebono nya sauroro asanteni sana thank you thank you so much eh uh, twara ngere tio mugaka pita nya basorap ke niko ya taraika bono ikira tikatomo ngori baga akwane Ah uh, asante sana mwenyekiti kwa sherehe yetu familia ya mzee Musa ama mzee Simba kwa jumla uni wakati mgumu sana ni juzi tu tulikuwa matanga hapo nyumbani wakati mzee Mungu alimuita na leo hivi tuko hapa tumefika hapa kuambia pole sana kuungana na ninyi kwa wakati huu mgumu aya sisi sote tunachua ni Mungu ametuumba ametuweka hapa dunia hii na yeye ndio ana uwezo wa kututoa hapa wakati ule ataamua mwenyewe so tunamshukuru Mungu kwa yale yote ambayo anatutendea naomba mama cheni na watoto data za Morris Uh, take courage it's a very difficult moment but there is nothing we can do the only thing that will help us ni kuwa karibu na Mungu prayers tuwe karibu na kanisa tuweke maombi alafu mengine Mungu ndio anachua na washukuru I will say to hapa kanisa mali Morris na mama Jen walikuwa wanaomba eh, na waambia asante sana kwa kucha karibu nasi na mama na familia na kutuambia pole tunawaambia asante sana Uh, kwa ile kazi nzuri mefanya hasa wakati huu Mungu aendelee kuwapa nguvu na hekima muendelee kusaidia watu wake vile mwenyekiti alisema mimi naitwa Pita Nyambasora ni mwenyezi hapa mzee Musa alikuwa kama ndugu yangu So uh, tuko na uzuni lakini hakuna kitu tunaweza sema tunaambia Mungu asante sana aweke uh, Morris mali pema uh, peponi Eh uh, asante sana asante sana msanya kundi nime nimeambiwa nimekumbushwa kuna mama mama hapa nyumbani mama Beatrice Onyonka 
Uh, tumemuana kicha hivi mama petres where are you can you please come and uh, wasalimie tu na pengine naweza sema neno moja kwa ke yesu rasima mama die mwamba ni salama Ie mwamba ni salama <coughs> Kwa niaba ya familia ya Dr. Onyonka Ninasimama mbele hapa nikisema Pole, pole, pole sana Kwa familia ya shemeji yangu Mr. Omosa Najua hali hii kwa kati huu ni wakati mgumu Ujiuli ambayo yuko hapa na alipata yu experience ya kupoteza mmoja wa familia. Ataelewa nacho kizungumzia. Kila wakati yule unamuona kwa, kwa kihali ya kibinadamu lakini kumbe hayupo unastuka. Siku hiyo inaisha imeisha kwa namna hiyo. Kwa hiyo mimi ngependa kusema kifo mungu alitumba nacho. Aliezaliwa lazima atapitia hiyo njia kwa hiyo ndugu zangu wote ambao mko hapa mnaomboleza na familia ya Mr. Omosa tunasema pole ingekuwa ni kitu ambacho binadamu tuliumbwa tuweze kupiga kifo hakuna angependa mpenda wake aende lakini Mungu hakuumba hivyo Binadamu tuliumbwa kwamba upitie hiyo kwanza ndio uende huko mahali unakoenda mahali Mungu anakuita. Kwa hiyo waombolezaji wenzangu tuko pamoja tunasema pole 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 kwa mama Jeni na mama yule mwingine kwa kupoteza mpendwa wao. Ni hali ngumu lakini tuishi tukitumaini kwamba mahali kijana alipo amepumzika. Hata sisi sote kila mtu ataitwa lakini hatuiti wote kwa ujumla. Kila aliyezaliwa anarudi kwa Mungu peke yake vile alivyokuja. Haendi na baba, mama, dada au shemeji au nani. Kwa hiyo kwangu mimi nalo achia ni kwamba hatujui ni lini ni saa ngapi Mungu atakuchukua. Kwa hiyo kwenye roho yako kipekee Si baba, mama, dada au kaka. Uwe peke yako ongea na Mungu wako umwambie siku yangu ikifika baba naombe unipumzishe. Hatujui huko mahali kuna alienda karudi lakini tunaamini kwamba kule kuna mapumziko ya milele. Kwa hiyo tunamwombea kijana wetu Mungu ampumzishe kule tunakoamini kwamba kuna mapumziko ya milele. Asanteni kwa kunisikiliza ni machache lakini tukumbikwe kwamba wote aliye hapa njia ni hiyo kwa hiyo tukae tukimjua Mungu asanteni sana njia yangu iwe ndefu yeye unipa wokovu mawi miakini pinga nguvu zake ndizo As Kisi County Government, who are colleagues to the late our brother Morris, we are here to send our sympathies and condolences. I call upon our staff to come forward, please. We wanted to focus his photo as we stand like that one. So when we take the group photo, okay. So without taking much time, um, I ask those who are sitting just next to our brother to just step a step forward like this so that you can pose. Eh. Wale walikuwa karibu na yeye kabisa in the same office. When you are through, you tell us. Okay, you can step back. 
Okay, this is the Department of Administration and we are represented by our Chief Officer Administration. So I'll take this time to give him the mic and address us. Asante sana kwa familia ya Omosa. Pole sana kwa kumpotesa mpendo wa wenu, Morris. Morris was working in our office as an administrative officer and he was a seriously dedicated officer. We loved him because he was good natured. He did not have any issues with anybody and that was his nature. And now here we have staff mates who are closely working with Morris. There are many, I don't know whether we need to introduce everybody. Our ward, Mnaona Hapa, Kuna Ma Directors, Kuna Deputy Directors, there are other directors from other departments who have come to condole with the family. And in the interest of time, I don't want to introduce them, but I want them to wave to the family. Wasalimia. Na wamesema pole, na wameusunika sana kwa kumpoteza Morris. I have a message of condolence from uh, our county secretary, who was not able to attend because he had joined the governor for another function, but they have sent a message of condolence, which I will give to the family. I don't have to read. The family will read. But I want to promise the family that we as government and uh, the Department of Administration, which is in charge of uh, human resource, will expeditiously process the final benefits of Morris. Na kuna mambo mengine hao wamejitayarisha watakuja baadaye kwa familia. Kwa hivyo tuko pamoja. Ah tuko pamoja as a family na tumeusunika vibaya sana. Asanteni sana. You can sit. You can actually sit. Thank you so much, the Kisi County Government. Uh, we have a friend from uh, Boxero Ward. The MCA Boxero Ward just want to say a word na atoke kuingine. Karibu. Kutoka hapa nigependa kumuita msia Mairura and the Nairobi team you prepare as we move along. Tumusifi Yesu Christo. Mirere na mirere amina. Yes, pia mimi ningeripenda kuchukua na fasi hii. Niseme pole sana kwa familia. Ndugu yangu Morris amekuwa rafiki wa muda. Ndugu yangu Morris tumekuwa na yeye Bogusero kwa sababu siku mingi anakuwa Bogusero ndio anafanya biashara. Kwa hivyo ni rafiki wa karibu sana. Kwa ile urafiki tumejuana Waja nisema mekua mtu wa karibu. Kwa hivyo pia minimeona ni vema. Niombe inafaz kidogo kwa niaba ya watu wa bugusero. Niseme pole sana. Saidi ya yote maombi kwa familia. Maombi kitu ya muimu. Hatha is mengine tumuajie mungu. Nimeomba nafazi ndio niweze kutoka kwa sababu mimi pia niko na matanga kwa wadi yangu. At least ni waje pore zangu. Pia ni waje maombi yangu kwa familia. Saidi ya yote ni mefraia kwa sababu kanisa imewakirishwa. Na ni naamini ya kuamba sherea ya ndugu yangu. Itaisha kwa njei rio safi. Sita ya sema mengi mimi ni MC wa Bogusero Ward. Nata kuwa shukuru sana watu yetu wa Bogekan naamini ya kuamba. Tutakapo shirikiana pamoja. 
tutahakikisha kwamba yale maendeleo ambayo tunahitaji yatakamilika kwa njia iliyo safi. Hadha is Mungu awabariki sana na Mungu awaonekanie sana. Thank you so much. So the committees Msemairura and the Nairobi committee Karibu Yote chini ya kisha Mokozi atanitosha Kwa Yesu nasimama Kwa Yesu nasimama Ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama eh abange tu alenge timanye tiko se eh kule the anko negro on behalf of the the group from Nairobi nje ganse ito ande nkurugwa professor Murangi Yambera nilikuwa na chair a uh, committee ya Nairobi na nimeshukuru kwamba kwa mipangilio yote ambayo tulikuwa nao wametusaidia lakini ningependa uh, kama uh, wakati ungeuso niliona PS Omenge hapa na wengine ambao tulikuwa nao tafadhali kuja tu salamie wale ambao wamekuja kutufariji uh, PS please na wale tulikuwa nao uh, mko hapa ama ile kama niliwaona okay uh, acha niongee kwa niaba yao Mipangilio imeenda vizuri na tumekubali kwamba mtoto wetu ameenda kupumzika. Hii ni mara ya tatu nimeona vijana wa mama Jane wakienda na ni husuni lakini hiyo ni njia ya wote. Kwa yale wote ambao mlitusaidia uh, wale tulikuwa nayo kutoka Nairobi mpaka tumeyaona haya tunawashukuru na yetu ya kija naamini kwamba kutakuwa na wale ambao watusaidia asante na muendapo mrudi wenye mmetoka Mungu awe nanyi asante sana oh bishop oh na yo na de krachi wanto wonse wo monene abakena abanene abaheshimiwa wesi abali amwai kero ikagaiga tumusivu yeso kristu ah mnante ni nega nkoro ku samuel mayura jeno yo mwabo mwaka nya gusire omosa nande inchekenga na tendete team ya gusi aso ku panga magena mangana moyega omwano yo oralire personally na nimepoteza kijana mzuri sana kijana ambaye angekupita bila kusalamia mimi akikunikuta njiani ananiuliza anko na namna gani kuna shida yoyote ngamwambia kijana wangu sina shida kwa hivyo yake yake ni kusomai na kuenda na kufanya vingine kwa hivyo tumekaa hapa tumepanga vizuri naona watu wa Mungu watu wa mapenzi me, we, mema watu wa wafumilifu umefika hapa kufariji mji yangu ni ni pole waje hata ni mimi nichipe pole kwa sababu ni mtoto yangu mungu na biromena pole mungu na chain pole mungu na robina pole bana bo mosabonsi pole paka bache korobonsi pole na ale ku ileri bageli bono dike go tuwa bantu ba bali tuwa botera na gai ganka tuwa botera ne njiringi ya kabisa tuwa koromo yo tulifanya hii mpango vizuri Ninge 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 chukua hii muda kidogo ni waite kitu muone hata ingawa wa, wa, watume rambi rambi zao dakika moja kusema pole kwa family kwa hivyo ni maita ile family ile committee tulikuwa nayo hapa nyumbani nafikiri mko hapa
Kwa hivyo nimewakaribisha karibu. Karibu mtoe na nyinyi ile ambayo ambayo zenu. Wamekubali wame mahali wewe iko. Inua tu mkono hivi. Asante sana kwa kufika na mimi wale wamekuja hapa kutufariji. Nichukua hii nafasi kuwashukuru sana na kuwarudishia asante mahali mlitoka na Mungu awarudishie kitu ya maana ni kuombea hii family ya mzee Musa asambili ya, ya Simba na Mwamurangi kwa Jumra e, hii kiboko kabla uja, kama hujakipiwa ni kigumu ni kikali kwa hivyo ni mnaombea wale watu wametoka mbali mbali watu wa mapenzi mema mkienda muende na Mungu na Mungu awarije asante sana Asante sana Kamati Arnold Arnold Matonda Na wasalimu wote kwa jina la Yesu mko wazima Bwana ni mwema siku zote Asante sana kwa majina naitwa Arnold Matonda Mimi ni pia ni rafiki wa Morris na familia ya Omosa wazima Tulikuwa tunaishi na yeye kule Marekani miaka iliyopita kabla arudi Sasa nimekuja tu kuwakilisha marafiki wake wengi ambao amewacha kule Marekani. Ningependa kusema kwa mama pole sana, kwa dada za Morris pole sana na kitu tunaweza kuambia ni vile Biblia inatuambia kwa kitabu ya Yohana 14 Msifadaike mioyoni mwenu. Muamini Mungu, niamini na mimi. Nyumbani mwa baba yangu mna makao mengi. Kama sivyo ningaliwaambia maana naenda kuandalia mahali basi mimi nikienda na kuandalia mahali nitakuja tena niwakaribishe kwangu hili nilipo mimi nanyi muwepo hiyo ndio tumaini ambayo tunaweka kwa roho yetu ingawa tumempoteza Morris ingawa tunalia tuwe na hiyo imani kwamba Yesu alisema atarudi na kati hapo atarudi atatuleta pamoja Musiwe na hofu najua mama umempoteza kijana hata mimi sasa nitakuwa kijana wako nitachukua hiyo nafasi ya Morris tufanye hiyo kazi Mungu akubariki asante Asante sana Arnold Asante kwa wema wako fadhili zako Nizami lele asante 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 kwa wema wako fadhili zako Nizami lele Eh asante sana tena nimerudi hapa eh, ningependa kuchukua fursa hii wale rafiki zetu bao wametoka Kisi County Government ngependa kuwashukuru kwa ni hapa ya familia na sisi sote tuko hapa kuwashukuru kwa sababu mmefika hapa eh, kuwa na sisi na kutuambia pole asa familia Uh, Nikampenda kuweka ombi moja Vile mumesungu Musa uh, Morris alikuwa nanyi Alikuwa rafiki wenu Na alifanya kasi nzuri sana Wakati mfupi alikuwa huko kwa county Sasa ombi la letu ombi la familia hata ombi la kanisa letu hapa tungependa kuambia kuwaomba kwa unyenyekevu sasa Morris amewacha ametuacha ameenda nyumbani mbinguni hiyo nafasi alikuwa nayo ya county ikiwezekana Unaona Morris na ndugu zake, dada zake, yaani familia ya Musa. Ingewezekana. Hiyo ni lo, hiyo ni ombi mnachukua kwa afisi huko. 
imetoka kwetu sisi na hasa kwa familia e, mwambie tumeomba kwa unyanyakefu hiyo hiyo nafasi ambayo Morris amewacha ingiwezekana mtufikirie hiyo nafasi tuko na watoto wengi wengine wa umasa family tungependa hata tunaomba Mungu pia tusaidie awasaidie ninyi hilo laombi letu iwasakane asante kwa kufika na hilo ombi mchukue muangalie na wakubwa alafu mtusaidie msaidie mama hiyo nafasi ni ya mama mama ana mtoto mama ana mtu anaweza kuwapa aendelee kufanya kazi hapo ili amsaidie asante sana kwa kufika e, nafasi hii ningependa kuchukua ni muite tuko na ndugu hapa my friend and brother msabi na familia hiyo ni family friend kwa umosa kwa miaka mingi tumetembea na hao my friend my brother kucha na kucha na mama mama <laughs> kucha tu salamie ufanye hivi salamie again <laughs> okay okay hiyo ni family friend wamekuwa marafiki tangu sijui lini huyo ndugu yetu atatuambia amjambo wa mbelezaji jina langu Ambrose Nzabi na bibi yangu wako pale angesimama lakini anasema ni nionge je ni pole sana najua hiyo msiba umepata ni ngumu lakini Mungu yuko na wewe na wasichana wako kina Lilian and Claire Nadia was not able to come she was having some workshops in Nairobi she would like to have come but she couldn't lakini she said pole sana for Jenny na watoto wengine mze the late Omosa when i arrived here i'm come from Mukamban by the way but i stay in Kisi wakati nilifika hapa nilikuwa mtoto kidogo dogo tu mtoto lakini Simba alikuwa that time clerk wa county council whatever those days akanishika mkono akanionyesha mali kwa makona nilikuwa nilikuwa nafanya na Karlo wakati hiyo ilikuwa inaitwa Kari nikafanya miaka 45 si yakuwa transferred kwa hivi najua Moza very well hata Morris namjua walikuwa rafiki na wasichana wale wangu lakini mwingine hako America au yule mwingine hako Nairobi. Kwa hivi tafadhali naomba watu kina pita nyamba sora hapa rafiki zangu hata nimeona Bokongo na Isaac Anunda nimemwona somewhere here. Tafadhali mushike mama sawa sawa kwa sababu mimi watu mko around here. Mushike wao. Na kama kuna kitu mnataka kutiuliza wewe tumekaa na wewe nyamba sora miaka mingi tunajuana hata wakati tulikuwa na tunaenda church hapa kadino tunga pole sana tutamwombea Mungu abariki nyinyi na waweke roho ya Morris malipema poponi kwa hivi mimi naitwa tena naitwa Ambron Zabi bibi yangu Miss Nzabi yako hapa ni kutoka ngambo lakini ni friend kubwa ya ya Jenny my wife is a very big friend of Jane and Omosa was also my big friend and as a whole family we are together we are nearby so thanks a lot mse anunda na kukumbuka how he helped me anyway you know it thanks a lot also mungu abariki nyinyi na muendelee sawa sawa asante sana naitwa Ambrose Nzabi na na ripi Ambrose Nzabi from from Kambani natoka Kambani Thank you so much. <laughs>
eh, kari, eh, asante sana rafiki wa familia eh, cousins wa Maurice mje mbele wanapoendelea kuja nitawapa nafasi the cousins we are here with waseme jina lao peke yake awaleke banda wewe biaiga jine kase ni wewe usirete Maurice nduturete masaba masaba omongino minto nero omusaka bwati Njeri serie tan dura manani agoti kurwa ali goma biya mono ikabanda na bantu ba minto na ba idwosi biya mure ya to bwato ba kogu jengo rukura res nya mari agoti kururi goma tibishoni e kenyere machuliati e baba na no yu mwa bosa na roma nene mosa mu bwati na akira por sana Asamu beka abeko ma umano yomita agia nero manene kiagera nero mo nero nando kodi asanya kumu beko majina ni Jane mama yangu ni alikuwa na afuata Baba Morris let Morris rest in peace chengoro ku Morangi ucho Morris ne kazi. Chenkoro ku Brenda Gesare, Morris Nikazo. Kwa majina naitwa Masi Nyanchwa, Morris Nikazo. Kwa majina ni Bridget Ucho, Morris Nikazo. Sama dia tangoro kuchaki ni munareli. Ikwande yo Priscilla Nyamukami, Nyamukami no yo mwabo musa, Morris Nikazo. Nje sama dia tangoro ku Rusina Bosibori. Wendo yo Nyamukami, yo Nyamukami no yo mwabo musa. Morsine cousin. Patrick Anso, ayo mokeira Morsine cousin. Na washukuru sana the cousins who have come here. Kwa majina naitwa Simba Josphat, engineer. Eh ningependa kuambia mamjen pole sana. My cousins pole for the loss of our brother. Morris is my cousin. I'm standing here as a testimony of what life has had to offer. Mze Omosa baba yetu alinishika mkono na he was the head of a delegation that we went to Mheshimiwa Ongwae kuomba kazi. So kama kuna mtu wa kwanza Mze Omosa alisaidia ni mimi wakati huo kulikuwa na mheshimiwa Nyagoto la pili mzee akaenda kule kwa mheshimiwa Ongwae kuomba kazi ya Morris kila wakati for about three years kuomba kazi lakini before hii barua ifike ya Morris mzee akalala sasa alipolala alikuwa ametuachia assignment akatuambia ndugu yangu Morris apate nafasi ya kufanya kazi kaunti kwa sababu nyimi, mimi niliwasaidia na nyinyi pia nisaidieni huyo ndugu yenu akue hiyo kaunti afanye kazi kwa kweli mheshimiwa Nyagoto ambaye siji kama yako hapa pamoja na mimi tulimsii mheshimiwa Ongwae ampatie Morris barua ya kufanya kazi mzee alipokuwa nazikwa ndio baro ya Morris ilikuja tukaitangaza wakati wa mazishi ya mzee i'm so much disappointed that now i'm saying bye to modis in service for about one and about six months it is so painful as much as it is painful to the family tunaomba sio nyakweba chief of nyakweba wetu ulikuwa hapa mheshimiwa rati na kaunti secretary wetu muambie bado hii familia inahitaji mzee alisema vizuri lakini imebidi niseme pia bado hii familia inahitaji vijana wako na hawana ajira tungeomba hii nafasi ya Morris 
muende nimeona ta nimeona administration wetu wamekuja hapa madam Kangwana muende hata mkitaka tuende pamoja hili hii nafasi iwezwe kuwa ya hii familia bado but in the meantime my brother Morris as you said utanizika kama nikuzike sipendi kusema rest in peace na shukuru asante sana kwa wale mmekuja nyuma kidogo nafasi hiyo nitapatikana lakini saa hizi kwa masahaya twende kwa kanisa asante tumekaa kwa muda tunaomba tuangalie makaratasi yetu tupate wimbo alafu tutapata omo muomba mwenye imara wimbo wa mwisho katika karatasi zetu tusimame wote tutende twensi Mamba we ye imara kwako ni tajificha maji hayo na damu yaliyo toka mungu kuri safi la dambi kuri fa kwa kazi zote pia siti mizi sheria nitapo fanya bidi nikilia na kudiri haya ishi wako sana Niwe wangu okoa Sina cha mkono hii Na cha Musa la bani Nili tu nifike Ni mno me nishike Chafuda cha Nio sheni sijafa Nikungo cha pochi ni Na kwenda kaburi ni Nipa po minguni Na kuko na ezi ni Roho yangu na iwe Rahani mwago wewe Tungale tumesimama, tunaomba county staff Walete mwili wa Morris Kanisani Ili tuanze sherehe officially Tunapo imba Wimbo ni salama rohoni mwangu Walu walikuwa nafanya na Morris wa mulete kanisani Amani kama Na pengine vichana wazaji wa nyumbani Kone wa Baba salama 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 roo Salama Ni salama roo Kone wa Dhambi Dhambi zangu zote Wala si Zimewe kwa msalabari Wala, wala sichuku ilana yake Misalama, misalama rogo ni mwangu Dhambi, dhambi zangu zote wala sinusu Zimewe kwa msalabani Wala, wala sichuku ilana yake Nisalamani, nisalamani Nisalamani, nisalamani 
Shuka sita o kopa Nisalama Nisalama Roho ni mwangu Baba salama 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 Roho ni Nisalama Nisalama Roho ni mwangu Iba salama 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 Roho ni Salama ni Salama Roho ni Mwangu Ye Salama 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 Roho ni Salama ni Salama Roho ni Mwangu Iba Salama 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 Roho ni Salama ni Salama Roho ni Mwangu Baba Salama 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 Roho ni Salama ni Salama Roho ni Yesu salama 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 roho ni salama ni salama roho ni mwangu taiba salama 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 roho ni salama ni salama roho ni O salama 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 roho ni salama ni salama roho ni mwangu baba salama 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 roho ni salama ni salama roho ni Baba salama 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 roho ni salama ni salama roho ni mwangu Let us get seated for the first reading 
Somo letu la kwanza tunapata katika kitabu cha muhubiri muhubiri mlango wa tisa mstari ni wa kumi hadi kumi na mbili. Our first reading we are going to get from the book of Ecclesiastics chapter 9 verse 10 to 12. I read Whatever your hand finds to do do it with your might for there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not for the, to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. For man also does not know his time, like fish taken in a cruel net, like birds caught in a snare, so the sons of men are snared in an evil time when it falls suddenly upon them. And this is the word of the Lord. Somo la piri, la watoka tia kitabu charuka, mlangu wa kuminatatu, msali wa sita, hadi ule wa tisa. Luka, chapter 13, verse 6 to 9. Neno la sema hivi. Hakanena mfano huu, mtu moja alikuwa na mtini, umepandwa katika shamba lake la mizabibu. Hakaenda kitafuta mtunda juu yake. Hakamuambia mtunzaji wa shamba la mizabibu, tazama miaka mitatu hii, na aja ni kitafuta matunda juu ya mtini, huu, nisipate kitu. Ukate, mbona hata nchi, unayaribu? Hakajibu hakamuambia buwana, uwache mwaka huu nao, hata ni upalirie, ni utirie samadi. Na ukizaa matunda abadae vema. La usipozaa ndipo ukate. Na hili ndio neno la Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Turuhusu wakati huu tukaribishe wachungaji kutoka madhehebu mbalimbali ambao wako pamoja nasi katika matanga hii. wachungaji kutoka madhebu mengine pastors wale wanafanya katika area hii priest father yeye karibu yes uh, asante sana kwa sababu ya nafasi kanisa mmeweza kunipa kwa ajili ya kuleta pole zangu kwa hii familia ni familia ya karibu sana kwangu maana Hata wakati wa kukumbuka uh, kulala kwa mzee uh, mwaka huu I was among the people that were invited tarehe mbili kwa ajili ya kukumbuka mwaka huu mwezi wa pili kwa hivyo familia mama uh, na wote ambaye wa familia nasema pole sana bwana kaweze kuwafariji akawape ngufu na uwezo kwa kusimama. Najua ni vigumu, lakini mungu atawapa uweza wake. Kwa hivyo, kwa majina yangu, naitua Reverend Stephen Mweresa, anaubiri na kanisa Ambassadors for Christ Church, hapa nyakoe, pia niko napatikana kwa radio ya Egesa na Ndis TV. Mungu wabariki sana, amani ya buwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina ni Dennis Nyabuga, Nyambegera. Morris ni mtoto wangu. Na nashukuru kwa kipindi ambacho ameishi pamoja nasi. Kwa neema za Mungu ni faraja kubwa ningependa kutoa kwa familia. Kwa sababu andiko linasema katika kitabu cha Isaya 57 aya yake first 1 ya kuwa the righteous are taken ili waingie katika pumziko na wale ambao tumebaki tunabaki tukilia tu hata tuamini ya kuwa Morris ameingia katika pumziko lake na tunaomba Mungu ajalie familia asante na Mungu wabariki asante sana wafanyikazi wa county moyo simama na ndugu yenu 
wakati huu nitapatia mshiriki mmoja kwa niaba ya kanisa aseme kuhusiana na Morris kidogo na mama katika kanisa Bwana Yesu asifiwe tuinue mikono kwa sababu Mungu ametupa uhai Aa, kwa jina langu naitwa Prisco Ndik na mimi nashiriki katika kanisa la Kianglikana pale karibu na kwa gavana kwa hivyo watoto wangu wale mmesindikiza ndugu yenu Morris mlango uko wazi mnakaribishwa mkashiriki pamoja nasi kuomba ni kwa Mungu na tunamomba Mungu aliye hai kwa siku ya leo sote kama kanisa tuko na huzuni huzuni kubwa kwa sababu Morris alikuwa mtoto wetu na Morris kila mmoja wa kanisa anamkumbuka kila wakati kwa ibada ya pili anamleta mama kanisani na ana make sure kwamba mama amepata kiti kizuri mama amekaa na Morris nilikuwa nikikaa wakati mwingine nimekaa kama Asha ana make sure na kuja na nisalimia naambia mami nimeleta mama namwambia asanti sana sana kwa hivyo uh, Morris alipenda kanisa na Morris alikuwa mtoto mtulivu nilimpenda sana kwa sababu hata akiniona niko mbali Morris atapita kuja nisalamie kwa hivyo wapendwa wa Mungu tutamkosa Morris lakini tunamwombea Morris mema na tunaomba zaidi kwa mama na wasichana wangu Mungu awatie ni nguvu Mungu awabarikini Mungu awapeni neema ya kuweza kustahimili machungu haya kwa sababu sote tunasikia uchungu lakini kwenu mnajua pali kuna uma kwa hivyo Mungu wetu tunaomba awashike mkono na zaidi na nyinyi mkashike bwana mkono mkatembee naye kwa sababu mnapotembea na baba baba hatawaacha baba atawashikilia baba atawalinda baba atawapa nguvu baba atawaweka kwa sababu yeye ni baba na yeye ndiye muumbaji wetu na siku zetu zote ziko mikononi mwake kwa hivyo Mungu ailaze pema roho ya Morris patakatifu Amina. Uh, katika ibada hii tumekuja na walimu wa kanisa wasimame wote. Naweza punga mkono kwa waombolezaji. Asanteni. Tumekuja na wachungaji, karibuni wachungaji mseme majina. Bwana asifiwe. Punga mkono kidogo hivi tu ni amani ya Bwana. Kwa majina ni Benson Ogoti, mzaliwa Kisi mjini, nafanya kazi katika sehemu za skimu Kiginga Parish. Asante. Baba Skofu, mpaka sisi na familia wa Kristo na waomboresaji na abakuwa ni mwezi bimbu ya mole mwanaeleza bagwe nje ngoro kwa reverend Vincent Mariaka sei tondo ora ariaiga ase sobo morisi okoro bonu bolia onka na ngote bapore mama jen ne family ngima aswat ba minto ase ogo siria Mumbroyo minto achi etabwango lakini ngwanja kwanya sae tikatoita bela nina ande twanje asenge ncho ya sae na mwanje temono akamutumukia ngoko gasi bogetu igonga no ndikinda ankande na ande semene yane na ande na habari ga ndimwensi thank you so much Leo ni siku ya kusindikisha ndugu yetu. Hakuna yule aliandikiwa barua kukua hapa ni kwa sababu ya ndugu yetu mwenye amelala. 
kwa njina naitwa Reverend Rusi Karoida. Mimi ni mchungaji St. Philip. Kwenye Morris alikuwa anaomba na mama. Nimeleta rambi rambi zangu kwa familia na marafiki. Hiyo ndiyo njia. Nilikaa siku ingine nikajiuliza. Kwani imekuwa mwisho wa dunia? Kwa sababu kila familia inaomboleza. Na nikakaa nikiambia Mungu asuie hii kifo ya ghafla kwa sababu inastua. Lakini Mungu <laughs> aambiwi yeye anajua. Na yeye anajua mawazo yake juu yetu. Anatuazia mema na anajua atalinda mama Jane na mandanda zangu na wote wa familia ya Morris kwa sababu yeye ndiye anajua kile amefanya. Mbarikiwe wote na Mungu awalinde. Asanteni kwa majina ni mchungaji Thomas Udingo. Tutashiriki pamoja na familia kanika kanisa Anglikana. Ah, muhubiri wetu mchana wa leo ni Right Reverend John Urina ndiye atatuletea neno la Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo tutasimama sote katika makaratasi zetu. Kuna wimbo mmoja leo tutaimba kwa kizungu tutaongeza akigusii bishop akisimama In the sweet by and by There is a land that is fairer than day And by faith we can see it afar For the father waits over the way We begin together there is a land that is fair and as well And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place In the sweet In the sweet wasifiwe naona kuna wenzetu wamekaa tukiimba kumusifu Mungu ninawaomba tumheshimu Mungu wote tusimame tuimbe wimba ama sasa asege tunwa wewe uko na uhai utaweza simama tusimame wote mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu unless you are very huh? unwell awezi simama tutakuomba wewe ukae naona mmoja ameniomba pale Asante sana. Tunakuruhusu. Masase 
asege tunwa masa se asege tunwa masa se ale nyancha akubara ebirubo asobo isyo buya olende orobora ayemo oleime omobolya na ole obora umbolero amasa se amaya mono ayale omoyone yesoka ne hamona inche amasa se ngoro nintugu tomo ichano una erangengo tu kwamboyine omogoko na icho ibogoto gya noromo chegoborabu ayekwa no se irie omoyo no lengere irie na kwa Tirie yeso amasa se amaya mono ayale omoyone yeso kale hamona inche namasa se ngoro omobolya kwangolire obogi Mano gwa o eke mole kyo banjani ke mole ke boronge noro mo che goborabu ayekwa no se ire omoyo no lengere ire na kwa Tirie yeso amasa se amaya mono ayale omoyone yeso ka ne hamona inche amasa se ngoro amasa se amaya mono ayale omoyone Yeso ka ne hamona inche namasa se ngoro Tukiwa tumesimama hivyo na tuombe Papa katika jina kuu la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru sana mchana wa leo ambapo kwa nguvu zako pekee umetukusanyiza sisi wote katika uwanja huu katika matanga ya kumulaza ndugu wetu Morris Arithini. umekuwa mwema kwa kila mmoja sana sana familia ya Mr and Mrs Omosa the immediate family umekuwa wa msahada na wa baraka katika maisha yao nasi tumekuja hapa kama marafiki kama kanisa kujiunga pamoja nao katika ibada hii maalum ya kumusika ndugu wetu Tuakuomba e Bwana kwa yote ambayo yametendeka tangu ndugu apumzike watu wengi wamekuja wamesema mambo mengi na hata siku ya leo tumesikiza na tumesuhudia na wakati huu umefika kwako kusungumza nasi kupitia huduma ya neno lako tuwaomba kupitia kwa neno lako utufariji kupitia kwa neno lako utuponye miri na roho Watu wako wanapoketi nami nikipaki nikisimama kunena neno lako naomba unisungumuzie kama vile unavyosungumzia watu wako. Shuka e Mwenyezi Mungu tushike mkono na utubariki. Takapofika tamati ya ibada hii sifa na utukufu zitakurudia. Tumehomba haya kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Na tukae. Familia ya mama Jen Omosa the extended family 
marafiki wa familia hii viongozi walio katikati yetu na viongozi kutoka kanisa na wakristo nachukua nafasi hii kuwasalimu bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the lord just lift your hand before the lord because this is the way christians greet one another bwana Yesu asifiwe ninamshukuru mwenyezi Mungu kwa nafasi hii ambayo ametujalia kuwa mahali hapa katika ibada hii ya matanga mimi ambaye nasimama mbele yenu ninaitwa John Orina Omangi mimi ni askofu wa kanisa la Kianglikana Anglican Church of Kenya katika sehemu hii ya Kisi Bishopric area katika waskofu wa Southern Nyanza mimi nimesaliwa huko Tombe na nashukuru Mungu niko pande hii ili tukaweze kushirikiana neno la Mungu. Kabla sija ubiri ningependa kusema poleni sana kwa familia ya mama Omosa the siblings na wote ambao wamefikwa na msiba huu. And nashukuru marafiki wote ambao wamesimama na familia tangu jambo hili litukie miongoni mwetu na nashukuru wote ambao wamefika leo hili tukaweze kufanya ibada hii na kabla sija ubiri ni vizuri ni seme machache mbona kanisa tunakuja kwa matanga kama haya why is the church involved in a funeral service mbona tusiwache watu washikwe ina kama vile tamaduni ilikuwa mbona kanisa linakuja kwa matanga because kuna kuanga na misconception why people come to matanga and today i want to put things straight from the anglican church sisi kanisa la kianglikana tunaamini ibada ya matanga inajikua masaa mawili because we have reasons why the church inakuja kwa matanga the first reason is pastoral care and concern for the affected tunakuja kuonyesha pastoralia na kuwachunga roho sa wale ambao wameadhirika Bwana asifiwe. That's the reason number one. Ukisikia hiyo statement, atukuji sana kwa ajili ya yule ambao amekufa. Tunakuja kwa ajili ya wale ambao wamepaki. Praise God. They want pastoral care and concern. Wanataka tusimame pamoja nao, tuwaombe, tutembee na wao mpaka wapate nguvu ya kuendelea. So the church does not do not come to the funeral for the one who has died inakuja kufa the living wanahitaji pastoral care and concern mama jane and the siblings they want our pastoral care and concern that's number one reason number two, kanisa inakuja kwa matanga kusherekea maisha ya ushindi ya yule ambaye amepumzika katika bwana kama Doug Morris alikuwa mkristo tunaamini kwamba amejiunga katika ushirika wa watakatifu tunakuja kusherekea mazuri ambayo alikuwa anafanya tunasema ameshinda ulimwengu kuna wimbo ambao tunaimba nimebifiga vita bibiga vita yo visuri mwendo nimeumaliza Mweni nimeinda mwendo ni mumali saimani nimeinda Our understanding as a Christian church na wengine I believe tunakuja kusherekea maisha ya ushindi wa Mkristo ambao amepiga vita vyema hapa duniani amemaliza mwendo amepumzika anaongojea siku ya kiyama We come to celebrate Praise God ndio maana wachungaji walimu wa kanisa na askofu na the communion of believers tumekuja kusherekea 
the church triumph. Kanisa ambayo ameshinda, ameshinda ulimwengu. That's the second reason. Ndiyo maana atumuajili asikwe na na neke nyoro. Atumuajili atinde kwe una eh aba aba gusiba akolire kare. Kanisa inakuja imuonyeshe heshima yake ya mwisho chesi ambayo amepumzika katika Bwana. Praise God. That's the second reason. Reason number three, kanisa inakuja kwa matanga hili ikawese kupata nafasi ya kuhubiri injili na habari ya ufalume kwa kiingereza to do mission and evangelism why kwa matanga ndio tunapata watu wote wale ambao wanaenda kanisa wako hapa kwa matanga wale ambao hawajawahi kanyaga mlango wa kanisa wako hapa wale ambao hawana dini yoyote wako hapa because africans matanga inatuleta pamoja ndio unapata mtu anataka kuja sasa apeane msomo kwa matanga kwa nje mamba yako sawa mwiko wa watu wote kuja sasa matanga na watu kusomera watu sasa kanisa inakuja ili ipate nafasi ya kuhubiri injili mission and evangelism so three purposes why we are here even today tuko hapa leo ili tukaweze kutimiza hayo malengo matatu number one, pastoral care and concern for the affected number two, to celebrate the life of a soldier in Christ number three, to do mission and evangelism sasa uliza jirani yako usawa yenda kanisa Wali angomo kana sikoma kwa nyago chi kanisa. Wanye nkwa nyago chi baona tegera lingana. Because today tutakuhubiria. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama wananisikia nipungie mkono. Eh, hey, kama uko na wai nipungie mkono. So today we are preaching to people aba ndumbara. Babu watu metume kongu bata nyuta cha kanisa. Kuna watu hapo kuna kichwa ngumu na singo ngumu hawajawahi kanyaga kanisa leo tunawapata tuwahubirie neno la Mungu kupitia kikao hiki ambao Mungu ametuandalia in my deep in my heart i know this is god's plan Bwana asifiwe huyu ni mpango wa nani wa Mungu wa Mwenyezi Mungu sasa wale ambao wamefika ninahubiri from two books kitabu ya muhubiri tisa mstari wa kumi hadi 12 ambao nitakusomea na kitabu cha Luka mtakatifu sura ya 13 mstari wa sita mpaka tisa. 10 to 12 then Luke chapter 13 verse 6 to 9 the Christians muhubiri nasema hivi kitabu cha muhubiri tisa mstari wa 10 hadi 12 nasema whatever your aunts finds doing Do it with your might for where you are going in the grave there is no wisdom there is no plan there is no achievement as the fish is caught in the lake and as the bird are caught in the snares so is the days of human beings no one knows his hour of departure bwana asifiwe Nimekusomea kitabu ya muhubiri kama vile chochote kile ambacho mikono yako itaweza fanya fanya na nguvu zako sote maana unakoelekea kaburini hakuna kasi hakuna mipango hakuna fikra hakuna achievement inaendelea kusema kama vile samaki wanavyonaswa baharini na kama vile ndege wanavyonaswa kwa mtego ndivyo maisha ya binadamu yalivyo hakuna mtu ajiwaye saa wala wakati wake wa kuondoka hiyo ni kitabu ya muhubiri, muhubiri. na hilo ya Luka mtakatifu sura ya sita msali wa sita, sura ya 13 Luke chapter 13 verse 6 to 9 nayo nakusomea inasema Jesus Yesu akasema siku moja alikuwa anatembea 
akatembelea muti ambao unaitwa mkuyu kwa miaka mitatu ili akaweze kupata tunda kutoka kwa muti hule. kwa miaka mitatu alitembea akapata hakuna tunda Diba Yesu akauliza mwenye shamba akauliza mbona hii muti iendelee kuwepa hapa iendelee kuharibu rotpa na kupotesa nafasi hii muti na ikatwe na itubiliwe mbali ndiye mkulima akasema e bwana na kuomba unipee nafasi mwaka mmoja nibadilie miti nitaimwagia maji nitainyunyusia maji nitaweka rotpa mwaka ujao kikuja upata hija saa matunda basi uikate Bwana Yesu asifiwe Today I want to speak kuhusu how are you living Uliza jirani yako unaishi namna gani Kitabu ya muhubiri ambao tumesoma siku ya leo na anasema ya kwamba chochote kila ambacho utaweza fanya kwa Mungu amplified fashion says whatever you will do for the Lord do it with your might Muamdishi wa kitabu hicho tunamjua sisi wote ni mwana wa Daudi anaitwa Suleman aliyejaliwa na hekima na neema Ukisoma kitabu ya wafalme wa kwanza ine mstari wa 29 hadi 31 if you read first kings chapter 4 first at 29 to 31 inatuonyesha ile Mungu alijalia Sulemani Ekima kiwango ya Ekima ambayo Mungu alijalia Suleman Biblia inasema katika kitabu ya Kings kwamba Sulemani alimuomba Mungu Ekima na Mungu akamjalia Ekima kiwango kuu na Sulemani aka akafikia maneno yafuatayo katika utoto akiwa kijana akatunga e nyimbo elfu moja na tano nyimbo elfu moja na tano na kati ya nyimbo elfu moja na tano moja ikawa bora zaidi ikaingia katika kanuni ya biblia ikaingia katika biblia kama wimbo ulio bora bwana yesu asifiwe Alitunga nyimbo elfu moja na tano katika ujana wake na katika ujana wake hizo nyimbo zilikuwa elfu moja na tano moja ikaebuka kuwa bora zaidi ikaingia katika canons of the bible ndiyo tuko nayo kama wimbo ulio bora kilikuwa na nyimbo nyingi lakini moja ikawa bora zaidi ikaitwa songs of songs alifanya hayo na nguvu zake zote sulemani akiwa katika umri wa katikati kama yangu alitunga medhari elfu tatu na hiyo medhari elfu tatu ndiyo tuko nayo katika biblia kama kitabu ja proverbs sulemani akiwa mzee akatuandikia kitabu ja muhubiri akiwa mzee out of experience anasema nimejaribu mambo yote na nimegundua ya kwamba kama Mungu ayuko katikati ya haya mambo yote hiyo yote ni kazi bure. Praise God. Hiyo ni Sulemani. Sulemani Biblia inasema hiyo kitabu ya First Kings chapter 4 verse 31 kwamba Mungu alimjalia Sulemani akajua miti yote. Na mimi nasoma katika shule nikajua wale ambao tumesoma science kwa shule the study of all plants is called botany alikuwa amesomea miti yote hata siku hizi nikiuliza watu ambao wamekaa hapa wakaweza kupeana majina ye mete yake gusi bale ngabara ike mete 30 na bake lakini sulemani alipewa hekima akajua miti yote biblia inaendelea kusema sulemani alipewa hekima akachua wanyama wote the study of animals is called zoology yeye ndiye alianzisha Biblia hiyo inaendelea kusema ya kwamba Sulemani alijaliwa hekima ya sheria alikuwa amejua sheria na tunajua the, the, the first case Sulemani alitatua kati ya wanawake wawili waliokuwa wanasosania mtoto Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ndiye huyo Sulemani anatuambia leo katika kitabu ya muhubiri tisa. anasema chochote 
kile ambacho utaweza fanya fanya na nguvu zako sote maana pale unaenda kaburini hakuna kitu unaenda kufanya kama kuna wakati unafaa kumtumikia Mungu na nguvu zako sote ni wakati ule ambao uko sawa our god is a god of the present bwana yesu asifiwe Mungu wetu anataka tumtumikie wakati uliopo na nguvu zetu sote na nguvu zetu sote na akili zetu sote na uwezo wetu wote amesema hivyo serve the lord whatever your hands do finds doing do it with your might sasa sijui watu wengi wanafanya nini ask your neighbor what are you doing currently unafanya nini sasa hivi katika katika uwanja wa Mungu what are you doing in the eyes of god wengine wako katika ulevi wengine wako katika vita wengine wako katika uchawi wengine wako katika mambo ambayo ayaleti maana pole whatever your hands finds doing for the lord do it with your might sijui wewe unafanya nini wakati kama huu and huyo muhubiri ako na sababu ambayo anasema ufanye kasi na nguvu zako zote he gives a reason anasema the reason why you should serve the lord with all your might it is because time and chance and death are constant bwana asifiwe ambia jirani yako time and death are constant factors eh yeah. hiyo bibiria imesema hivyo imesema chochote kile ambacho utaweza fanya kwa Mungu ufanye na nguvu zako sote kwa sababu uendako kaburini it means all of us will die bwana yesu asifiwe sisi wote tutafanya nini that is constant iko kwa watu wote na tunaelekea pale but before we go there which legacy are we living behind unawaja legacy gani ask your neighbor which legacy are you building eh watu hapa juu hawaongee hata kidogo waliza jirani yako what legacy are you living what legacy are you living behind because bila msema whatever your hands finds doing do it with your might because where you are going at the grave there is no work there is no thinking there is no planning kila kitu kitaisha bibiria anaendelea kusema kama vile samaki wanavyonaswa baharini kama vile ndege wanavyonaswa kwa mtego ndivyo maisha ya binadamu yalivyo hakuna mtu ajuaye nyakati yake ya kutoka but one thing which is remaining constant is chance and death Mungu amekupea chance wakati huu uko ai what are you doing do you know that the way you are living today determines your destiny pia jirani yako chinzi na hisi leo inategemea penye unaelekea mwanje ti mwanje ba kusimba huko na yentekyo ero ne ero go tuoro ki asorochi wewe you like it hata nikupea mfano injili ya luka 16 kulikuwa na tajiri na maskini chinzi walivyokuwa wanaishi it determines how they ended enjero manye terero na bego tuoro kia asoko raki asoko chia that's why muhubiri anasema mimi kama suleman nimejaribu mambo yote sasa na wa advice wala wanao nisikisa whatever your hands finds doing for the lord do it with your mighty kama wewe uko na bibi yako ama bwana yako kama unafaa kumupenda saa hizi ndio unafaa kumpenda na nguvu yako yote. Tabi mimi kana sikomo penda bibi yako na nguvu yako yote. Ba atabalo acha ko. Penda familia yako. Ambia mjirani yako penda familia yako na nguvu yako yote. Eh hey, kama unafaa kukula chakula balanced diet ni saa hii. Kama unafaa kudress vizuri ni saa ni saa hii. Kama unafaa kuoga vizuri ni saa saa hii. Because where you are going there is no Nipungie mkono Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Whatever your hands find doing for the Lord, do it with your mighty. Because where you are going, there is no... Sasa kama kuna wakati, wabu ya nato kote ya wiyo mungi na osu munga ako, ni nguwa njete mbono. Nyingi kakiro wanatu kumulikere SMS, omotebi, na aku inyora, mbo? Mbono. Wana yesu asifiwe. Na wana watu wanasema, hai nkwale SMS njilu mungu siiboli. Hai yyo tali seita. Huyo Sulemani, anapo sema hayo, he is not guessing. Sulemani apatishi. Anaongea out of experience. Wakata naandika kitabu ya muubiri, amekua mse. He is qualified to give you advice. He is qualified to say what he has said. Hata sisi ukisoma yu kitabu ya muubiri mbili, actually anaorodesha mamba mbayo alijaribu. Sulemani, for example, alikuwa na bibi wangapi. Nataka tuubiri kama tunawangele shana. Sulemani alikuwa na bibi wangapi? Mia? Mia saba. Na wale wanaitua concubines. Walikuwa ngapi? Concubines hase kegusie wakura wa sere sere. Haba alenge mia? Mia tatu. Ukiwangesa wate ni ngapi? Elf moja. Huyo Sulemani liya siku moja alikuja akasema muke muema upatikana kwa nani? Kumanisha, hamejaribu elfu moja. Pure bako hiki rosara ndi rotewe renga. Ah, na ama njirengo mkungo mwiyakuru asengo. Asenya sai. Hadijaribu wote. Ndiya siku moja akasema, a good wife comes from the Lord. Hiyo Suremani. Sasa kuna wengine hapa, wako na bibi mwengine Kisi Town. Hako mwengine Nairobi. Hako mwengine Kisumu. Hako la concubines left right Na ya nasema ye ye nasa ni echo wako ya Hakuna record umefunja Wana asifiwe Hakuna record umefunja Suremani alivika elfu moja Haka sema Hiyote ni kazi Bure Ndiye ya nasema Sasa ni megundua Kama kuna kitu tawe safanya kwa mungu Ufanye na nguvu Sako sote Maana kaburini pale unako elekea, hakuna mpango, hakuna jansi hata ya kuambia watoto wako na wapenda, hakuna jansi ya kuambia bibi yako kama na mpenda, hakuna jansi ya kuambia buwana yako kama na mpenda, hakuna jansi ya kuwasugulikia wazazi wako. There are some people ambao wamepuusa hata wazazi wao, awaja wai wakunulia hata nguo, hata sukari. Kama kuna wakati ambao tawezafanya acts of kindness ni wakati huu. Kwa na yesu asifiwe. Ambia jidani yako unafanya nini? Kwa wakati ambao mungu wamekupea. How are you using this chance that God has given you? Kuna wengine wameweko kwa maofisi. Wakawese kudumia watu. They are wasting that chance. Kuna watu wamewekwa opportunities mungu wamewapea. Padole ya kutumia kuguza maisha ya wengine Wameitumia kujitachirisha wao wenyewe God is saying Whatever you need to do For the Lord Do it with your mighty Tukiadelea kusoma injili Yesu na ya kapeana mfano Hakasema kulikuwa na mutu umoja Ambaye alikuwa na shamba Alikuwa na muti Mukuyu, haka upanda kwa shamba, haka ufanya kila kitu Na alitamani kwa miaka mitatu, haki tembele yu muti Haone kama atapata tunda kutoka kwa hiyo muti Na halipo tembea pale, halipata muti huko kijani kipichi Huko very strong, huko very healthy Lakini ya ukua na tunda hata moja Kwa mwaka moja, mwaka wapili, mwaka watatu Baka mwenye shamba kafika, haka uliza, hey Hii muti nimekuja hapa miaka mitatu sasa. Angalau nipate tunda. Lakini haina tunda hata moja. Mbona hii muti iendele kuexist. Hata kama ujui kama mwenye shamba amekasirika. Hata kama muti ya ujui the thoughts of the master. Hakaomba tu kwa imani hakasema thafadhali. Na kuomba unipea chance ya mwaka mmoja. Nipalilie umuti. Ni unyinyisie mbolea. Ni muagirie maji. Kwa mwaka mmoja utakapo pita, 
ukikuja upate haija saa matunda bas huu muti wakati huo ukaweze kuikata na uitupilie mbali Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nataka ulise jirani yako namna hii muulize jirani Paul yemeka anasema kama aina aseki otageto omente ruo mwaka Ulise jirani yako why should you be at that time Mbona uongezewe nafasi You know people want to live long <laughs> to occupy resource to consume resources and don't make any contribution to the society aba ntumbaro ororo bamenyete they are not making any contribution to the society jesus was walking akitamani apate tunda do you know that god has created you he has put you here on the world so that you make a positive contribution kwa mekuumba ili ukaweze kuleta impact Mungu amekuweka hapa duniani ili ukaweze kusaa matunda Sasa Yesu anapokuja kwako kama Mkristo ka tangu uokoke umekuwa tu pale hakuna tunda ambalo linatoka kwako You are not bearing any fruit hata una upendo hata una mahombi hata neno la Mungu hauna you are hauna uh, you are not in good relationship with your neighbors matunda yako ni machungu Akitembea pale anagundua hakuna tunda lakini unataka kuishi why do you live and consume resources the question jesus asks mbona hii muti huu mtoto wa muti wangu mimi ndiye nilipanda mbona iendelea kukaa hapo miaka mingi na haisai tunda hata moja so i'm asking you what are you doing which legacy are you leaving behind as an individual mungu amekupea time and chance what are you doing Which contribution are you making in society? Wakati nilikuwa nasoma high school, nilisoma science in one subject called uh, 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 there was a topic ambayo ilikuwa inasema about matter. Matter is anything that occupies space and has got mass. Yes. Matter is anything that occupies space and has got mass. Yaani siji matter ni zaidi kwa Kiswahili. Kitu ni kitu kiliopo kinachochukua nafasi na, na kiko na usito. Then nikasoma on something called substance. A substance A substance is something that you can touch, you can see, you can feel, you can. Hiyo ndiyo inaitwa substance. Sasa wasikizaji mnao nisikiza. Ask your neighbor, are you matter or substance? Ask him, will you make answer come are you matter or substance? Hey, matter is anything that occupies space and has got mass. I want to believe today I'm speaking to men and women of substance. Watu ambao wanaweka contribution. Sio watu ambao Yesu anauliza, "Mbona aendelee kuishi na asai matunda hata moja?" I thank God for intercessors. Intercessors like us, kama priest, kama wewe unanisikiza hapa, kwa nini pastor wako akuombe? Asema Wacha Tigomo nginagete aravero mentere miaka nyako basi kanisa. You know that we intercede. The gardener interceded for this person and said leave this tree for one year ikaweze kusaa nitaihubiria nitawafundisha neno nitawatembelea nitafanya pastoral care and concern mwaka ukikuja upata waja saa matunda pas utaweza mta. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kama unanisikia nipungie mkono haleluya haleluya Mungu amekuumba usae matunda God has given you chance God has given you an opportunity to build a legacy of influence ukaweze kujenga uaje legacy behind ili Mungu akaweze 
kutukuzwa. Job 28:28 says I'm about to finish. Job 28:28 says This is what God is saying to humanity. Haya ndiye Mungu anasema kwa binadamu. Rejecting God is foolishness. Accepting him is understanding. Job 28:28. Then Solomon paraphrases Job in Proverbs 1 verse 7 by saying the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and understanding then the psalmist Saburi Hanasema a fool has said in his heart that there is no God a fool has said in his heart that there is no God mpumbafu amesema katika moyo wake kwamba hakuna Mungu. Nataka tuinue mkono wetu wa wa kulia juu. Inua kidole namna hii kama vile nime point ile ya kanu. Haya uwekelea kwa kichwa ya jirani yako. Muwekelea kwa kichwa. Muambie hivi ikiwa auja mtambua Mwenyezi Mungu wewe ni pumbafu. Umusukume kwenda huko. Muwekelee tena. Repeat again. Muwekele kidole. Mwambie unanisikia. Ikiwa aucha mtambua Mwenyezi Mungu katika maisha yako wewe ni pumbafu. Is the Bible which has said so? A fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Mpumbafu. Mpumbafu siyo kukosa kusama vitabu. In God's sight, when you do not acknowledge him, you are a fool. We wanafikiria kwamba, huko pale, you are there. God is saying, why should you continue to exist? I want to show you the reason why you are, you are here. Proverbs ends. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 says all things have been tried all things have been said all things have been analyzed here is the conclusion of the matter let every man fear God and do what is right for this purpose you were created bwana sifiwe kitabu ya muhubiri imesema mambo yote yamejaribiwa Mambo yote yamesemwa na huu ndio muutasari wa mambo yote. Kila mtu amuje Mungu na atende mema kwa sababu hii ndio muliumbiwa. Bwana asifiwe for this purpose you were created. You were created to honor God, to fear him and to do good. Why should we why should you be added one more year? Why should you be given a chance? That's the message in Luke chapter 13 verse 6 to 9. Why should you continue to exist to occupy space? I want to bande mbele mambe nyete, ba letri problem wa si kenyoro, ba letri problem wa si mech. Baba gaka, ba 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 ira wangi na babo engai. Ekera kurwa ali mugaka kurmoino. Aba anto ba kuruara se compound. A sing enjo yama koro ao ne chinkwana chikura sumunuo. Why should you continue to exist? Do you think you are very special than our brother who is we are celebrating here today? God has given you chance who is alive to do his purpose. Let me again end by this story which I normally give. I want to repeat it again here. Here ni marise. Three animals started a journey. Wanyama watatu wakaanza safari. Wanyama hao ni mbuzi, kondo na humbwa. Walianza safari kutoka Mosocho kwenda Nairobi. Na ilikuwa kwamba kila mnyama atachiripia na huli. Wakapanda Transline kwenda Nairobi. Walipo safari ilipoanza 
walipofika Narok umbwa akaona nyama choma alipoona nyama choma pale Narok akasema nataka kushuka ninachelewa kwa nyama choma akachukua pesa akalipa kwa kondakta akasema wewe endelea mimi ninachelewa kwa nyama choma mambo mawili yakafanyika kwa umbwa one akufika Nairobi Tu akurudishiwa change. Ambia jirani yako akufika Nairobi. Akurudishiwa change. Usisahau hayo maneno kwa sababu baadaye nitakuuliza swali. So ni nani amebaki kwa safari? Mbusi na safari ikaendelea. Walipofika Mai Mayu Mbusi akagundua kwamba hata kama niko katika hii safari sina nahuli ya kulipa. Kitu nitafanya nitaongojea gari ikifika kwa pumps slow pump nitaruka nje. So walipofika na Imayu kwa slow pump mbuzi akaruka nje. Mambo mawili yakafanyika kwa mbuzi. Hakufika wapi? Nairobi akulipa na uli. Those two things do not forget because I will ask you a question later. Nani amebaki kwa safari? Kondo. Kondo akatulia tu Katulia tuli wakafika Nairobi pale Avia Center. Kondoa akachukua pesa akalipa. Mambo mawili yakafanyika kwa Kondoa. Alifika Nairobi na alilipa na uli. Mambo ya mawili mawili usahau. Kondoa alifika Nairobi na akalipa na uli. Sasa maswali yangu ndio hayo. Wakati mulisafiri kuja hapa kwa matanga kutoka makwenu wale ambao walisafiri ama wanasafiri sana katika wanyama watatu ni nani huwa mara mingi amegongwa barabarani eh asijiji hao wanyama watatu ni, ni yupi mara nyingi huwa amegongwa barabarani umbwa si ndio tunakubaliana wote ni umbwa kwa nini Kwa nini? Kwa nini umbwa? Hey. Umbwa akiona gari. Anakumbuka, "Ai, there is my change there." Kuna change yangu kwa kwa gari. Anakimbia pale kuitisa. Alafu gari inafanya nini? Inagonga. Kumbuka Umbo aliwacha change akaona nyama choma akaikimbili akaikimbilia akasahau safari sasa mara nyingi umbo akiona gari anakumbuka oh niliwacha change yangu akimbia kwenda kwa gari gari inagonga yeye tumekubaliana mpaka hapo haya ukifunga mbuzi hapa gari ikuje mbuzi anafanya nini eh Rasibe mboli gari e gari e chiche ingie mboli wakora busi anataka kutoroka si ndio kwa nini eh anakumbuka e hey, mimi kumbe sijalipa na hu na uri sijalipa deni uliza jirani yako umelipa deni uko na deni eh hey, bibilia inasema mtaenda mahofu huwa anakimbia kimbia hata kama hakuna mtu anamfuata Sasa kuna watu hapa wakiona padri kutoka pale wanatoroka wakiona muhubiri wakiona wazazi wanatoroka because their concern is not clear Kuna wimbo tunaimba deni ya dhambi musalabani ili marisikia ni huru kabisa Ya mwisho wapendwa tumwangalie huyu kondo Kondo kama alikuwa amelala kwa barabara Gari ikuje Kondo atasimama Eh Kondo atasimama Kwa nini Eh Mbona kondo kama gari ikuje hata mpigie on 
Hamba alikuwa amelala atalala. Kama alikuwa na cross with this speed, hawezi ongeza. Why? Kondo anajua mimi na gari tulimaliza. Mimi na gari tumefanya nini? Tumemalizana. Ambia jirani yako kuwa kama kondo. Kuwa kama kondo. Tuko safarini. Nataka tuubiri, tunaubiri pamoja na mimi. Tuko safarini. Safarini yetu ni mbinguni. Our destiny is in heaven. Wala ambao anafika huko. Ni wala ambao wako kama kondo. Kwa nasifiwe. Wala ambao watafika huko ni wala ambao wako kama kondo. Na Yesu anasema, ye ni mchungaji wa? Umeza isikia Yesu akisema ye ni mchungaji wa mbuzi? Umesikia Yesu akisema ye ni mchungaji wa umbwa? He? Ye ni mchungaji wa? Kondo. Ni wangapi wanataka kuwa kama kondo? Waseme mimi niko hapa. Unajwa bie na end. The Bible always says, kondo, sehemu yao ni mkondo wa kulia. Lakini, Umbwa na mbuzi na wale ambao wako na pembe kubwa kubwa sehemu zao ni mkono wa kusoto na watasanywa na watatupwa nje na pale nje kutakuwa na kilio na kusaga meno hata mimi nikiwa askofu hapa kisi nataka kuwa askofu wa kondo Wana asifiwe askofu wa kondo sio wa mbuzi wa chanja sio wa umbwa those who are not committed in the journey. Let us be committed. Usima yesu wa mekupea leo. Anataka usae matunda. Tusimame papa tuliko. Tusimame sisi wote. Nataka tusimame. Kiwa mesimama hivo. My message today is how are you spending your time and chance ambao Mungu amekupea unaitumia namna gani are you using it to bring glory to god are you honoring god which legacy are you leaving behind as you go out ask yourself from the word of god in luke chapter 13 verse 6 to 9 which fruits are you producing why should god add you another chance why should your pastor your mom your dad and the people of good will pray for you that you may live long. Mbona tukuombe uishi miaisa marefu? Why should we intercede for you? The reason why I believe I should intercede for you to live long so that you may make positive contribution by touching people's lives. Mama Jane and the family, Biblia kitab jaisaya arubaina sita mstari wa ine, there is a fast to the elderly in a sema, I am the Lord your God. I will take care of you in your old age. Even when your hair turns gray, I am the Lord your God. I will carry you through. That's the first I want to leave to Mama Jane. Just think about that first wherever you are that God has promised in Isaiah 46 verse 4. That I am the Lord your God who created you. I will take care of you in your old age. When your hair turns gray and when your strength is weak, I will carry you. Hiyo ndiyo mungu anasema. So God is with you and he has assured you that promise. And the family at large, things that we do not change, things that we do not have control over, we only accept, adjust, and advance. Accept, adjust, and advance. Three A's to remind you. Accept, adjust, and advance. And in so doing, the peace of God will be sufficient upon your life, and His grace is sufficient. Nataka kuomba na mutu hapa, who has been wasting chance and opportunity that God has given you, Umekuwa mepotesa muda ambao mungu amekupea kwa ulevi. Umekuwa kitumia muda ambao mungu amekupea kwa vita. Umetumia muda ambao mungu amekupea kwa mambo ambayo ayaongezi the mana. And we are concerned that if you continue that way, 
God is saying, why should you continue to exist? Which legacy are you building? Which name are you leaving behind? I want to pray for a person who wants to say, I'm struggling with this thing. Course of action, change my life and give me a new beginning. A living God, God who transforms and changes life. This man who is standing before you to preach you today has seen God working in his life. I'm not talking out of guesswork. I'm talking because I've tested. I have been in it, I've worked in it, and I've seen what God has done to the extent that I became the youngest bishop in the group. So if you want to believe in Christ, you are struggling with drinking, you are struggling with alcohol, you are struggling with drugs, you are struggling with, uh, uh, with, with, with things that do not add up. We will try in your own strength, when our own come when recover, that you slide back. God is here today and is challenging you that whatever your hands finds doing for the Lord, do it with your might. It is time to do good. It is time to reform. It's a time to honor God. It's a time to worship him. It's a time to give your life to him because death and chance happens to all. And the way you are living today determines your destiny. I want to shape my destiny by doing what is right before the eyes of God and before the, the, the eyes of men so that I may secure my destiny. One sure way of securing your destiny is to accept Jesus Christ to be your Savior and Lord. Jia moja ya kusekiwa your destiny. Ni kumuamini mungu na kumukubari kristo. Kuwa mokosu wa maisha yako. Utakuwa na ujasiri kama kondo. Utafika mbele ya kiti cha ends. You want us to pray with you. Maybe you are struggling with sickness. You are struggling with family breakdown. You are struggling with challenges in your home. God wants to arise and show his glory. As we close our eyes, lift your hand before the Lord and I will pray with you. Thank you for those hands that have been lifted. Mungu anakujua, anakuona, na atakuonekania katika maisha yako. Tuamini na tuombe. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, the name at which every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, this is the name that we are calling this afternoon in this field. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us in this gathering in a voice which is clear and still. You have asked us in your word, why should we continue to exist? Why should you continue giving us chance? Why should you give us life? You have also reminded us that in this chance and life that you have given us, whatever our hands will find doing for the Lord, we should do it with our might. For in the grave where we are going, there is no work, there is no plan, there is no thought, there is no good action that we can take. Father, behold, your people have listened to your word. And in response to your word, they have lifted their hands before you and before us. As your servants whom you have called, we now pray that you arise in your power and majesty and reveal yourself and glory to these your faithful servants who have lifted their hands. May you, Lord, turn their mourning into dancing. May you give them the oil of joy instead of sadness. Where there is confusion, we speak the order of the Lord. Where there is discouragement, we speak new strength. Where, Lord, there is gloom, we speak the joy of the Lord. Where there is, Lord, failure, we speak new beginning. For in your word you say, a man may fall many times, but you are the one who will establish them. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus for those who are unwell in this gathering. Rise in your power and touch them. Heal them from their heads to the sole of their feet. May you take away every pain, every fear, every anxiety, and every stress. May you give them the joy of the Lord, the joy that passes all understanding. As your servants now, we want to rebuke every work of the devil, every scheme of the enemy that is working for our downfall, every angel of darkness assigned to end our progress. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ and lift the altar of the Lord in the lives of these your people. 
May the word that we've heard today be a seed in our hearts. Let it germinate bear fruits for the glory and honor of your name. From this funeral service, cause us, Lord, to go and reflect and amend our ways, and we begin to serve you. And Lord, if it pleases you, cause us to bear fruits that will bring glory and honor to your name. May your name be glorified, for you have spoken to us. These things we ask in faith through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To say me, amen. To mpige bwana Yesu makofi. Asante sana. I think I need to proceed by handing over the microphone to the programmer. Tutakuwa na wakati wa kupeana sadaka kwanza. We will pray tutakuja kwa familia. Uh, Sante Askofu wakati huu tungependa let's sit down somebody from the family to read the eulogy of Moses Claire uh, step forward Unafanya mambo ambayo wanadamu wawezi kufanya unatoa faraja ambayo Wanadamu wawezi haufananishwi 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 na kitu kingine haufananishwi haufananishwi na kitu kingine haufananishwi haufananishwi na kitu kingine Falme wajabu hau fananishi na kitu kingine Good evening, habari ya jioni Mimi kwa majina naitua Claire Kemuma Ndiyo first born sister wa Morris Na Morris alikuwa last born wetu Maurice Otunga Omosa was born on the 22nd of July, 1976, at Kisi Maternity and Nursing Home. He was the sixth child of Jane Omosa and late Peter Willis Omosa Simba and also stepson to Mama Rufina Omosa. Maurice is a sibling of Claire, Lillian, late Tom, late George, Gloria, and then himself. And late Mary, Florence, Susan, Irene, Oliver, Josie, Donnie, and late Julius. Maurice started schooling at Sakawa Nursery School, then proceeded to Kisi Primary and eventually went to Mosocho Academy Primary Boarding School. After completing Standard A, he attended Kadnolo Tunga and Nyakeiri Boys for his high school years, then proceeded to Mombasa Polytechnic, where he pursued his post-secondary education and received a diploma in pharmaceuticals. After his studies at the Polytechnic, Morris went to the USA, where he studied management and worked in banking, hotel management, and real estate for several years before relocating back to Kenya. Maurice ventured into entrepreneurial activities in Kenya before taking up a position as admin and PACECM with the Kisi County government. At the time of his death, Maurice was a Kisi County employee. Maurice was suddenly taken ill on October 20th, 2022. He received treatment at Perugia and therefore was transferred to Oasis Hospital on the 21st, where a scan revealed severe bleeding, including in the brain, from a ruptured vein. He was admitted in ICU. The physician in consultation with the general surgeon and the neurosurgeon recommended treatment to stabilize him, targeting a 48-hour window, then ran tests to find out his response to the treatment. On the 24th of October morning, after 48 hour winding the family, I'm sorry, after the 48 hour window, the family followed up and the, and the doctor at Oasis advised that it was still status quo. At this point, the family decided to have Morris transferred to Nairobi. In consultation with the doctors at Oasis, 
Referrals were made to MP Shah in Nairobi and E plus Kenya Red Cross and AMREF. The ambulance arrived 7 p.m., but his blood pressure started to drop. E plus, in consultation with their medical director and OASIS doctor on duty, advised against evacuating Morris at this time. A family member and friends were at the ICU up until about 2 a.m. Even though unconscious since hospitalization, Morris raised his hand. After being advised to let Morris rest and receive care, the family and friends left. Unfortunately, on October 25th at around 7.15 a.m., a family member received a call from Oasis and was informed that, and was informed that the doctor wanted to urgently see family members. On arrival at the hospital, family was informed that Morris had transitioned. We, the family, did what we could in our control and hoped that our brother's son was going to recover and come back. As much as we don't understand and ask questions, we accept God's will. My brother, rest in peace and keep smiling. Thank you. Sante, Sister Claire, the Lord will be with you. Uh, wandugu na wadada, tunapoendelea kumaliza wakati huu tunataka kutoa sadaka zetu uh, na wale wakuwa na nafasi ya kuona mwili wataipigia salute kwa mwisho then tuakuwa na nafasi ya familia ya kuimba wimbo and then uh, tutaelekezo baada hapo so right now I want to give the praise team uh, we will give offertory at various places those ones who want to view, they will view those ones who have viewed will just sit where they are as we do finishing of our services. Praise Tim. Tutasi mama, nitukaweze kusifu mungu tunapo etasa na kazetu na kumsifu mungu. Hey baba, hey baba, Baba poke asifa e baba e baba e baba poke asifa o oh, e baba o oh, e baba baba poke asifa e e baba e baba e baba poke asifa o oh, e baba o oh, e baba o oh, e baba poke asifa e baba e baba e baba poke asifa o oh, e baba wa upendo to se ma poke asifa e e baba e baba e baba Poke asifa oh, e baba e baba e baba poke asifa e baba e baba e baba poke asifa oh, e baba e baba e baba e baba e baba e baba poke asifa 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 Baba to la kuzifu, boko zipoke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. Unaku inua mungu wetu, tuze ma poke asifa. E baba, e baba, e baba poke asifa. Unaku abudu mungu wetu, tuze ma poke asifa. E baba.
wajaa wale wanapeana sadaka pale ni sawa tu Simba wa Yuda anda guruba Simba wa Yuda anda guruba Simba wa Yuda wa Yuda anda guruba Yuda anda guruba Simba wa Simba wa Yuda anda guruba Simba wa Yuda anda guruba Simba wa Yuda anda guruba Wacha tuombe kwa ajili ya sadaka. Tukushukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wakati huu. Tusama watu wako wamepeana sadaka. Kwamba shukrani kwako na pia kama pole kwa familia. Tuwaomba kubariki mikono iliyopeana na mifuko hiyo. Wabariki wanapotoka na wanapoingia. Na tuwakabidhi sadaka hii mbele zako kwa kazi ya utumishi wako kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Tukae. Wakati huu let me give the reverend to say the way forward. Yes, Baba Skofu. Nakushukuru sana kwa encouragement mbao umetupea na tukaridi sisi sote ingio ta gatanya sago tige okore kio tara kora magega ego twebo ri twens nafasi hii ya kipeke kabisa lina mwarika assistant chief wetu wa eneo hili erinde atokwani na andari ganie na anda tuari gani na andari gani apa gani bara ase aba mtoba ikiraba ismiwa na barobo babu ateringana igodi bageri mugambi eh bwana skofu na wale wote ambao wamehudhuria mawasishi haya na kwa salimu amjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Thank you. My name is um, my name is Ambrose Gishana, Senior Assistant Chief Gesoni. Uh, I'm here. Kusema pole sana kwa ndugu yangu Morris na kwa familia ya uh, Omosa. Bishop as you have said, our brother Morris is now celebrating the heaven. Here we are left on earth. What is our position? Ume to challenge. Tumebaki kufanya nini? Na shukuru kwa sababu mdugu yetu Morris ameshirikana na wengine kule binguni sisi ndio tumebaki. Familia tunasema pole. It's a big challenge. It's a painful event. It will take you time to heal, but with God you quickly heal. We be together tutasaidiana na nyinyi vile mzee Omosa alikuwa ametufunza ametuacha tukiwa na hekima mingi ushirikiano mingi na kupendana kwingi hatutabaki kunungunika kwa sababu Morris ametuacha kwa sababu Mungu anajua mahali ameenda kwa hiyo machache nasema mimi kibinafsi na familia yangu tumesema pole na yale ambayo yote ambayo itachika kama serikali tutashirikiana na nyinyi tusaidiane kwa in this point in time wacha ni mwalike mheshimiwa eh, MCA wa Bogeka aleta wale waweni ambao wako hapa na wale ambao wa, wametoka nje karibu honorable uh, bishop of the Anglican church the reverends who are here na wageni wote ambao wametoka sehemu mbalimbali na familia ya mzee Omosa na wasalimu wa mjambo kwa majina najulikana kama manane Richmond Royori mimi ndio MCA wa Bogeka ward eh, familia kupenda kuambia ni pole sana 
huyu pia ni rafiki yangu hata kwa hospitali tulikuwa tunawasiliana lakini kuna mengi mtaelezo na waziri nafikiria yuko pale Edna so i think you will uh, excuse me before i talk more i invite uh, waziri Edna you come and give a word Thank you, Mwishimiwa Bokkawad, the Krashi leadership, and all the members of the church present, uh, the members of Simba family, and the Russia, the members of the Russia Simba family and the Omosa family, the colleagues from the county government, and all the friends who are here. Good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. My name is Edna Kangwana. I'm the outgoing county minister for administration. But first, the family of Omosa, I bring the condolences from my family, my two families, from the Oliki family in Bogsero, and also the Kangwana family from Marani. Omosa was working with me in the county government, but was a brother to me. When growing up, I used to stay in the Nyambegira family, schooling in St. Patrick's, and I saw Omosa grow. Later, fate brought us together working at the county government, and Mosa Morris was working, working in my office as my administrator and doing the duties of a peer. We communicated with Morris every day, even if the county government is going through transition, and the time we never talked is what the time Morris was in the hospital. I feel guilty that I never called to get to know how Morris was doing. But I want to tell the family that you've lost an enigma. He lived his life. He worked so hard and he loved everyone. I have seen what Claire wrote on how Molly's used to remind the family that he loved them. I think Molly's and love one, one, were two words which were the same. The pastor who preached today has said, what we have to do as human beings is just to work and make use of our, our hands. I think that is the, what we can learn, the biggest lesson we can learn from Morris. In his 40 years, uh, 46 years he lived in this heart, he worked, be it in family, be it in the corporate, be it in the county government, be it with the family. The family business, and even at the work that he had, he worked with diligent, he, any duty assigned to him, he did from the start to completion, and he reported accordingly. He respected the old and the young. And I think that's the lesson we can take. My mother has seasons. I know how Molly's alikuwa na kupenda sana. Kila wakati anasema mama, mama. Ninajua tunalia sana, lakini ujungu ni wewe unaujua. Lakini ninajua kwa yote. Ukisikia vibaya na ile ujungu konayo sai. Ukumbuke yale mazuri ya Molly's. Na ujue Molly's hamefanya kazi yake. Na wewe bado kazi yako imebaki. Kwa wale watoto wamebaki. Naona kire hapo. Naona Lillian. Naona wote wako hapo. Wote wanakuangalia. Wanataka uendele kuwa nao na wachuku wote wenye wamebaki. I think hiyo ndio itakupatia ile need ya kutaka kuishi siku ingine. Kuongezea ingine na ingine. Na mungu watafry na wote watafry. From the county government, I know the team had worked, but I'm just asking you to stand wherever you are and you, you raise your hand so that the people can see you. I know you came here and you already talked, you spoke. I want to say thank you. In a special way, I want to say pole to the people who are working, Gloria, and all those who are working closely with Maurice. I know you worked with Maurice until the very last day that it was a long hold and then you never saw Maurice again. But I think if there is anything you learn from Maurice's life is to continue working on and just being good people. Lastly, uh, and I think the preacher today said, uh, storms in life come and challenges come. And there is one scholar who has said, you know, you cannot stop the storm from occurring. 
because it's a natural process just like death. If we had options, we could just have stopped Morris from going to, to be with our maker. And that is one of the Storm's family. The best thing we can do is just to calm down, especially to Mama, because we need you so much. Just calm down. The storm will get to go. We remain to be here, and one day we are going to be rejoined by Morris. Morris is happy. Morris is going, has gone to the father. That is almost I'm talking about. Has gone to the two brothers who went ahead, and they know from above they'll continue praying for. I think I'll talk and talk because this is a personal roast to me. But I want to say, Paul Esana will continue holding on your hands and praying for you so that you overcome and find the strength. About three months ago, I lost my mother, and Molly's was among the strongest pillars I have, I had, to survive the loss of my mother and actually to walk through the transitions. And lastly, I want to bring the condolences of um, Mama Senator. When I was coming, I passed through her house. She's not feeling well. She's the one hosting us today here. And she said that I say, Apole, she's family. I know you are going to interact more. Um, I want to hand over and recognize the presence again of all the colleagues that we came together with. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, I Sorry, I, I also, as a representative of the county government, to the family, I wanted to say that uh, we, are, we are not done with Molly's. There are still processes that we are going to work just with the family. And after this, we'll continue working with those uh, more of logistical issues to cross the issue of Morris. And I know we've been talking with Lillian. We'll continue talking and, and ensuring that we give uh, everything that is due to, to, to Morris. So on behalf of the county government, kindly receive our condolences. Thank you. Um, you know, I gave uh, Waziri, she's the outgoing administrative uh, minister in the county of Kisi. Now, uh, I'm told the team is somewhere there. Team Onyonka? Kindly. The, the brother, the senator, is a brother to Senator Onyonka. Some may not be knowing him, so he can talk on behalf of the family of Onyonka. Thank you so much. Familia ya Omosa, tumekuja kwa umbeleza. Morris to me was like a brother. I went to school, Kule Mosocho Academy. Tulikuwa marafiki sana. Na leo naambiwa kwamba hayupo. It's a very difficult thing to lose a good friend. We were really good friends. I walked with him. He'd call me often when he felt like he had issues he needed to discuss. And I shared with him my counsel. Mze Omosa is extremely dear, the late, the departed, is also extremely dear to us, the Onyonka family, because he stood with us during very times. So for us, Mze Omosa was like an uncle, a father. Chris was like my brother. Mama Jane was my nurse when I was in Mosochi Me. I transferred from St. Mary's in Nairobi after came to my Mze, the late Dr. Onyoka. I told him I wanted to study in Kisi. He thought I was crazy, but I took the risk. When I got to Kisi, one of the challenges that I had was I was getting malaria often. And Auntie Jane, you looked after me so well. God bless you. You've been like a mother to me. On behalf of the Onyonka family, on behalf of Mwishmiwa Richard, I want to say poleni sana kwa msiba. Tunamba kwamba moyoake wendazake Morris ilazwe pahali pema peponi. For all of you who've come here today to share in this grief, tunasema asante. Bishop, wonderful wonderful, wonderful sermon. 
You talked about salvation. Thank you so much. You've kept us sharp. God bless you. Duke, my elder brother, thank you. Uh, I think because of time and the rain, I would also like to be very brief. Mine, there are some issues as a family will come the way Waziri has talked. We were at uh, some stages of finalizing. So I think we'll uh, incorporate uh, Lillian. We go and want uh, authorities. Then you see on how to finish the process. Otherwise, I could like, uh, I'm seeing Ombura. Ombura go to Kwa, I don't know how to do it. But I think I'm going to do it. Yes. The Bishop Ombura, I don't know how to do it. Otherwise, to accord it. Uh, kwa baba Sikofu ambaye ametuandaa katika mahubiri ya leo na familia pamoja na kanisa hata badri wetu na wana hapa Mosocho wa, wa ka, Katoliki amefika hapa na wote na wasalimu hamjambo Mimi nimetoka katika ofisi ya seneta ambaye boma hili ni lake Hakuweza kufika lakini nadhani Uh, my brother Timi ameweza ku, kuwakilisha. Ah uh, saidi ya yote Morris pia amekuwa rafiki mkubwa na ameweza tumeweza kukaa na e, hadi wakati alipokuwa hospitali. I want to thank um, waziri ambaye ametoka hapa. Tumekuwa tukiwasiliana naye na kila mmoja ili kuona kwamba mambo haya yameenda vile alikuwa inetarajiwa. Ah uh, hakika ni uni kwa boma ya Umosa lakini tunawaombea Naombea Mungu aweze kuwasaidia. Na katika ile wanasema uji Mheshimiwa alinipea takriban shilingi elfu kumi siweze kusaidia logistics zozote saje sitakuwa sikiendelea. Kwa wale amunijui mi naitwa Wesley Yombura na kaa katika ofisi ya Mheshimiwa Onyonka ambaye ni Richard Seneta wa Kisti. Asante sana Mungu aweze kuwabariki. Wageni mkienda muende salama wale ambao mlitoka Nairobi wakati umetoka Kakamega mkirudi Rut Salama. Mwaga endevu yanya sawa dere. Thank you very much. Eh asa yuko na te bachinsa chera abantu ba mintu. Eh emokonga bera tokore. Ya tokore rawo abantu banka dochitumera ne tokwa na mangana na ale bia mono mwa ko the public participation ibi ndomire mwa begetari ni nche mbarangere na ende. Nina bwa de shuguri chiare ngechi nyinge. Asa yumbi yamono. Tiganya sawa seseni. Tipa etingo ria. Oh. Okay, ai gana nje komentande etinel fukumi eh. Nkobono nkurunda nkwana machuma shilingi I think 2000. Tiganya comment. jine cha majuma chichinde cha nanuari otherwise mbiyamono na saba sisi sante mheshimiwa ah katika hii familia tunajua madhehebu yalikuwa mbalimbali na pia tuko na fadha wa Musocho tungependa wasalamie kama moja wa tunza roho Reverend Father. Uh, kuna baba askofu hapa, niko na heshima kwa maaskofu, na kuna mapadri hapa. God is good. And all the time eh uh, tuko na uhusiano mwema na jua Morris Otunga hata jina la Morris ambaye uh, ni mtumishi wa Bwana. Hivi karibuni kwa sababu aliishi maisha mema sana bora ataitwa mtakatifu Morris Cardinal Tunga na jina lake huyo alichukua jina kutoka kwa Cardinal Otunga uh, Morris Cardinal Otunga Omosa Kwa hivyo nikasema nilikuwa na kasi nyingi nimekuwa matanga mengine huko uh, karibu na ma Cardinal Otunga yenyewe nikawaambia waje nikimbie uhusiano uh, mwema 
good relationship with our neighbors and other churches. I said I must be present. Nashukuru mwenyezi mungu nime wapata muko. Mumeniona nilikuja. Na nyi tuna wakaribisha. Tuna shirikiana. Tuna perega watu wa mungu mbingune. Na nimesikia asikovu wameongea siku kwa huku. Hame wambia muwe wema. Iri muende katika ufalme wa mbinguni salvation that's what they said you talked about uh, leo sio kuhubiri kwa sababu uh, mumehubiriwa lakini kwa familia ya Omosa hii ni jamaa yangu wala ambao mjui mwako uli nyambegera uh, uli ya neango nyambegera no yo murangi olengi no Omosa oyo simba simba no yongo olengi Oyo morangi. Na inje wano. Yene chama yane. Awa watu ni. They are my relatives. They are my family. Not even relatives. Uh, they are my family. And this is why I have come. Pole ni sana kwa familia yangu. Uh, ma familia yetu. Mungu wa walinde. Na watakia mema. Maali munaenda. Muenda salama. Tuombeane. Umeona nimeshika kitabu hapa. Sitagi kuachiria. Nataka kuenda kusoma. Ni jue saidi, ni pata hata wakovu, ni kijua saidi ya iki kitabu. Mbiyamono, avana kakora marama temu, mokoro moki, avana wa ito naomba ya, watoto wetu wanaada mitiani, naomba wenzangu, baba skovu wako hapa, na mapadri, na watumishi, tuombe watoto wetu sana. Ili wafanikiwe, watoto ndiyo viongosu wa kesho. Atuna wivu na wawo, tutakuwa tumeenda. Thank you for listening to me. May God bless you. We will see you in another occasion. Mungu wa wabariki. Father, welcome. Thank you very much, Father. Uh, former ward rep anataka kwa salamia tu. Mujue pia ya likuwa katika hii shere. And then tutaita familia. Daka ibere. Uh, asante sana pisa kwa kupiri vema na sikuru sana Reverend Kuru nilikuwa kwa sherehe yako wakati ulifalishwa hii uniform na sikuru sana isikirie kabisa kwa sababu huyu ni mtoto wa nyumbani hapa padri wetu huyu ni wa nyumbani hapa namba ya pili family ya Omosa poleni sana eh uh, excellency eh uh, ongwae Alisema poleni sana mama jeni. Nipatia condolences and baso natakuletea. Pole sana na mungu wa siti kuwaparikia sana. Mimi na engineer simba popote maali simba huko. Na skuru sana kwako na edi na minister. Ile kasi tulifanya ya uyu kijana ajiriwe kasi. Tunalia sana. Tulisuguma sana ili uyu mtota ajiriwe kasi. Na litulifanya kasi kubwa sana. Akaweza kuajiriwa kasi. Na mungu wame mchukua. We have a big loss in our hearts. Na tunasukuru onguai kwa kuweza kumuajiri uju kasi. Mungu wawaparikie sana na kasi hila bayo tulifanya. Nchen Charles mchogenya goto for my MC Ebu Abogeka. Muparikue na mwenyezi mungu. Thank you sir. Oliver. Oliver is bringing up the family with a song. As a yes, my name is Oliver Mosa. Let me invite my parents, brothers and sisters. Please come. And the larger family. Photo of thanks, P.S. Morangi. Photo of thanks, P.S. Morangi. Love Musafara. Has it a Zangulia? Gadia Familia. This is the Gadi Pekina Standa Beletu. Was a Babu and Yubani, Navasi Kidogo. Yo, wow. 
Familia fanya haraka mkuu imekuja. Familia familia Thank you. I think I don't have much to say. First is to to a shukran to all of you for joining us on this day to give the final farewell to Morris. I guess those who met Morris know that he was full of energy, very outgoing. In our family, we have different personalities. Morris was mwenyalikuwa mechangamuka ama na changamusha watu. So we thank God for his life and uh, as we move ahead all we can say is thank you and uh, let's do our best to take care of the parents thank you tuna waomba tusimame sisi wote we want for the family achiwa mama the wachungaji ambao wako pamoja nasi tutasimama nyuma ya familia I will first ask the, the Reverend Father to pray for the family, then I will also uh, pray. Yeah. Mama Akopande Hile, but uh, she can't reach here. Thank you. 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 Thank
you, Bishop. God, our Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of Otungo Mosa, whom you have called from this life to yourself. If among stars, and now he has departed from us, we want to pray for his soul that he may rest in eternal peace. I want to entrust this family to you, especially this moment of sorrow, great sorrow, that you may encourage them, that you may comfort them, that you may walk that you may lead them, that you may shower them with your blessings, that you may help them in the process of healing. We know you will not leave us alone. You will not leave them either. Mary, our mother, may you intercede for this family. You brought Jesus to us. Jesus will always listen to you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. You can pray. Let's continue to pray. Almighty God, the only source of all power, we want to thank you this afternoon. You, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all comfort, we now pray and lift this family unto you that, Lord, you may comfort them with your divine comfort, that they may be comforted and remain strong, even to comfort others who may go through the same experience. We now pray also that you arise in your power and majesty and give this family your divine grace, that, Lord, during this time, they may learn to accept adjust and advance. We also pray for friends and brethren who will be visiting this family after us that the Lord they may come with a message of peace. We now cover them with the blood of Christ that Lord you may protect and keep them you become their strong tower that Lord they may run unto you and they find refuge under the shadow of your wing. Thank you, Lord, for your people as they will be going. Be with them, O oh God. As your word promised for Mama that you are our God in our old age, when the air grows gray, you will give us strength, you will care and you will protect and provide. Lord, may that scripture be a reality in our life and the life of this family. We now bless them that, Lord, you will be with them now and days ahead. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord God bless you. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mubariki we Mubariki we Mubariki we Mubariki we sa Mubariki we Mubariki we Mubariki we Mubariki we sa na Now before we say the final prayer for dismissal of the service Tutulia kidogo tufanya maombi ya mwisho Iyo likuwa ya kuambaya familia And this is how we will process up The bishop, the clergy Dia watatangulia Followed by the ash uh, Na hile team And of the rest watakuwa nyuma Tusimame wote tunapo homba Ili tufanya maombi ya mwisho Tuamini na tuombe Mungu baba muana na romu takatifu Tuwa kushukuru wakati huu. Umekua pamoja nasi katika ibada hii. Tumekuona, tumekusikia miongoni mwetu. Na hatha kupitia kwa neno lako. Na kipindi mefika ambao tunaansa proceson to the grave. Kwa na tunahomba uwe pamoja nasi. 
kutusike mkono katika awamu hii ngumu sahidi uwe pamoja nasi na ututangulie natoka hapa tukiamini ya kwamba Kristo amesinda kifo na mauti na sisi siku moja tutakutana wote kwa ujumla watu wako sasa wanaondoka wakienda makwao wengine wakienda kuwa pamoja na familia tuwaomba uwe pamoja nasi utusike mkono kuafikisha watu wako salama salimini na hata tutakapoonana tena kwa mema tutarisifu na kulinua jina lako inuka kwa utukufu wako utawanyise gisa kutoka mbele ya mapito yetu na jua la haki likawese kutuangazia na sasa amani ya Mungu ipitayo fahamu sote iwalinde mioyo na nia zenu ba mwana na roho mtakatifu iwe kwenu na ikae nanyi sasa hata milele amen bwana kae nanyi asanteni sana tatu minto ya sae nombuya higa tatu minto ya sae nombuya higa go si senya ya sae nombuya higa go si senya ya sae nombuya higa go si senya tatu minto ya sae nombuya higa go si senya tatu minto ya sae nombuya higa go si senya ya sae nombuya Diga go se senha, e já sai no buia. Diga go se senha, a bagunça já sai no buia. Diga go se senha, tá tudo bem tudo já sai no buia. Diga go se senha, e já sai no buia.
Sifiwa, uh, we are gathered here ku kurasa mwili kwa ndugu wetu Ardhini ukiwa kwa prayer book we are at item 25 in the service seat I'm the resurrection and life he who believes in me will live even though he dies and whoever lives and believes in me will never die the Lord gave and the Lord has taken Away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame, others to contempt. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Now we want to consecrate the grave before the body is uh, lowered to Ombe. Lord Jesus Christ, through your own time in the grave, you made the graves of all believers sacred. May the body of Molis Otunga lie peacefully in this art, and may he participate in your resurrection through the power of the Holy Spirit. We now consecrate this grave in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that's our Kerem Willi Hapa Chu. This idea of Kerem Willi Hapa before. Wana use Hemu Yangu Ravike Yangu Wewe Katika Safari yangu twatembe yana wewe pamoja yana wewe Yesu pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu twatembe yana wewe Niongo se safari ni bele u ni chukue mulango ni mambingu ni ningi na we pamoja na we we Yesu ningi na we we. Pamoja na wewe Yesu Moja na wewe Mulango ni Tasatoa hiyo yote kabisa Mingi na wewe Pamoja you can remove this Na wewe Yesu Pamoja Pamoja na wewe Mulango ni mambingu ni ningi na wewe ni ongo se safari ni bele hu ni chukue mulango ni ni wacha tu ni ningi na wewe tu tu lia sasa. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy. 
Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. From now on, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Therefore, trusting in God's abundant provision of grace and in his gift of righteousness through the one person, Jesus Christ, we now give the spirit of our brother, Morris Otunga, here departed unto the everlasting arms of God to take him to himself while we commit his body to the ground. Heart to heart, ashes to ashes, dust to, uh, to dust. For all the redeemed of the Lord, our sure hope is in the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord who shall change our perishable body so that it may be raised like his glorious body according to the working of his mighty strength which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated it at the right hand far above the rule and authority, power and dominion forever and ever. They are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. He who sits in the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they anger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat upon them, nor the scorching it. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. But this water, kama vile mokozi wetu alivyo tufundisha, tuwe na ujasiri wa kusema sala ya buwana. Baba yetu liye mbinguni, china lako litukuswe, ufalme wako uje. Atopensi yako atimizu haba duniani kama mbinguni, utupeleo chakula jetu chakila siku, utusamee makosa yetu, kama nasu na uja samee walio tukosea, usutie majaribuni, lakini utuakoe na yule mhovu. Kwa kuwa falme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu sasa atamilele. Amen. Wakati huu sasa ni wakukabidhi familia kurudisha mchanga. Tukianza kutoka kwa mama. Then we come to the children uh, in the order of their birth. Tutakuja to the extended family. Then later on the marisia na kanisa. Yumwe ma yumwe ma Yesu yumwe ma yumwe ma Yesu yumwe ma yumwe ma Yesu yumwe ma ma yumwe ma Yesu anatupenda yumwe ma Yume ma Yesu Bwana Yume ma Yume ma Yume ma Yume ma Yume ma Yesu Yume ma Ana tujali Yume ma Yume ma Oh Yume ma Yume ma Yume ma yes, yume ma, yume. What's happening? I'm fine. Come on, you may go up. Oh, yume ma, yume ma, yume ma. No mu ya, no mu ya yes. Ana tu penda, yume ma, yume ma yes, yume ma, yume ma, yume ma yes. You mama I have any friend who wants to throw the mchanga it's your opportunity you love us we love you 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 is a permanent one to nadao to pay mafundi na fasi but before that kuna mahua ambao we want to demonstrate on this side wala ambao kwa hii mchanga wadatoka 
so that uh, we lay down the flowers. We do the prayer finally. I love to prepare my full opportunity to reveal uh, the grave. So, to Nataka Kuweka Mahua Pale in the order which was arranged, Hili Tukaweze Kumaliza. Uh, Aya, you, you give the chance for mom to be seen. Then the, the sisters, Mudakuja Murei, Mahua Hapa Pandehi. Na hile fundi wa kuingia hapa. Okay. Then the sisters, the family members, you can just lay the flowers on top here as we, you get that photo. Where are they? Uh, you can even hold it two people, then you finish uh, the uh, uh, This side. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right, just give them. Just give them there. We will pick up. Can you walim or can you say what the sky is Zaraba? Not them. Give the 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 sisters the flowers for the photo demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no, 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 they are there. Okay. Hey, take them. We are finishing. Okay. That's fine. Then there's the one for the church here. Mm. All right. That's fine. Yes. All right. Uh, that's okay. I think that's fine. Okay. I think that's fine. After it has been filled, so could you elect the cross? Okay. We now want to pray. Let's now pray. Oh God, our Father, see the devastations in our hearts as we ponder the painful and sudden and helpless and desperate departure of our brother, Morris. We are tearful and bitter at what kind can still do in our lives. Calm our hearts with the peace of Jesus, who himself died on the cross for us. We thank you for the life of Morris. We are sad that he had to departure in this way. We agonized as we helplessly watched him fight for his dear life in the hospital. We are thankful that he does not have to suffer anymore because he is finally released from the pains and suffering of this life and is united with you and the angels in glory. While we prayed and wished him for his physical recovery when he was in the hospital, we knew you had the most perfect plan for him. We have no doubt now that you have healed him completely never to suffer these earthly pains or live in constant fear of death. Death is conquered indeed. We thank you for all who cared for him here at home, the mother, the sisters, the immediate family, and the hospital. Bless the efforts of our doctors who work so hard for new knowledge to cure and prolong lives. Grant this knowledge, Lord, and bless your people with the gift of li long life. Help us, O oh Lord, to come to terms to this reality 
and especially the family, grant them grace to ac accept, adjust, and advance. Now, Lord, we trust upon you that you will reveal your glory, for you are our Redeemer, and our Redeemer lives. Now, as we go, may your peace remain with this family and even for the remaining part of filling this grave. May your grace be sufficient upon us. And now we pray that you comfort and strengthen the family and remain with them, keep them warm, and hold them with your righteous right hand. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, guard your hearts and your mind in the love and knowledge of Christ our Savior and the blessing of God Almighty, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Sasa tutasonga, tuachie mafundi na fasi, ili wakaweze kujenga na kufili hii. Meanwhile, we can ask the family to, to proceed to the house as they feel this, then we will erect the cross at the later uh, time. Wakati wa memaliza hii. Asante sana. Tuta wangosa kuenda kwa nyumba. Wale mafunde, wako wapi, wakawese kuendele. Kosi unisikie unaposuru wengi Ine naomba sinipite aleluya
I want you to find yourself right in the holy of holies. I see his presence. I'm in his presence. While I'm there thanking him, I know that I have a right. Whatever I need, he will supply it. I believe tonight somebody just wants him to open up the windows of heaven for you. Let it rain. Send down your blessings, Lord. I just need you to move in this place tonight. I just need you to move in this place tonight. He's doing it right now. Hallelujah. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain Let it rain Open The floodgates Of heaven Let it rain Let it rain Help me somebody say it tonight Open the floodgates of
but I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. I feel the rain. Anybody feel the rain? Anybody in this place you feel the rain? I feel the rain. Is there anybody in here you feel the rain? I feel the rain. I feel the rain. Maybe you need to look at somebody and tell them it's raining. 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 